in the black turban, pioneer exposed as the triple crown glows. Every Negus has the Negus as his throne, the temple has the body. Truth as my shoddy, with no bulge, I'm still armed without the robbery. Master arts marshal, and they marshal the law. Peace offers of you, story, fragile your jaw. Clapping at y'all at bachelor parties. Not knowing whether it's control by HAARP. Stopping the tapping of you in frequency. Sent to the higher self from Sirius B. Or maybe Sirius A. The reverse is serious internet radio play. Like Square Shreddy, I'm now dominant new. Misleading, they charge a bill 50 for a shoe. It takes five bucks to make. They load trucks with bins. Same goes for cars, construction tins. So clean, no stuff. Revolution chumps, reclining in the armchair, speechless like mops on the rail. All these dirty moors know the deal on the rail. All these dirty moors know the deal on the rail. All these dirty moors know the deal on the rail. Falcon, niggas like the swagger, swagger. copper sports jagger, I'm Ethan fuck a gun, I'm a shooting razor. Stage. Most fail cause they look like the flyer 
in shades Following demons possessed Kanye's and Lil Wayne's Expecting a hippie with a cross and a Greek name In a melon calls me D&B The lay cop with no cheese Orisha's in me I'm not what you don't see I'm not one of those armchair revolutionaries A lies in me Sick and tired of being sick and tired But that's just where we get our friends, man The Christ is in me I'm not a hustler, pimp, gangster, wankster But trust me Shifted the doom in the melanated womb Zipping milk in the honeydew and triple black boom Touchdown, traveling on planet Earth where we crush clowns While I'm managing this curse and preparing the elixir That turns copycats into kitty litter These poor pussies pretending to be misters I cannot sin but I can be very sinister My limitations are limited as I do a lap around the galaxy Had to gather light and rally back and fuck the fallacy And cause of that, I got laid the antagonist and it didn't help that I cuss and bun cannabis and bun candles and wear symbols of orishas and I put a hex on the heads of seven preachers with one trailer spit aimed at the pulpit crush the crucifix a whole tabernacle backflip I'm not catholic but if I choose my bare resonance you may just catch a glimpse of lucifer semblance up and down Jacob's ladder with my melanin the vessel of the fear none you can find the devil in So it has right here in the dictionary, black or more. And it has the part of speech right under it. Next to it says noun. And it says a black person, man or woman, Negro. Then it has in italics, black and small case, plus, then it got more capitalized. There's an identity right there in, in, in the uh, dictionary. It was never really, really hidden. You tell these people they're Moors, they say, what? what religion is that? <laughs> they are so sleep. The sorcerers did a good job. And we're battling sorcerers. Of course, if we come out talking that way from the door, you'd think we're out to lunch. You understand, people, it's sort of like um, our arrogance, our poisonous and toxic self-righteousness, has cursed us for quite a few generations. We gotta fix it. Let them know. Islam. Let them know. Let them know. Moorish MC order. Bomb around table sheets. Seven days in a circle and 52 weeks. Dirty Moors copycat and bite the prophet's speech. I'm El South taking a Hajj like Malik. In a group of solo like Raphael Sadiq. Walking over rappers like stepping over a creek. Exposing you dappers, dressing like Greeks. Showing off cheeks. Thong wearing whale freaks. Suck like a leech. I'm the nerd you kick sand on at the beach. Verbal in your face, I stand on. I'm back to teach. Learn a lesson as the piano soothes your mood. Lyrical weed, beat brain food, you turn God, applying what I speak, the truth, they burn, and lie through their teeth, denationalize, jack for all your supplies, and knowledge, from the high priest on the mental highs, bringing you light, giving you sight, close your eyes to pray, get shackled at night, now they giving you trite, tales of ox, feed of pigs and soup, you've been bamboozled, tricked, had and do, won't fight your own fight, but you join their troops, killing others around the world just to stay out the news, <laughs> won't fight your own fight, but you join their troops, killing others around the world just to stay out the news, let them know, use the mic to let them know, let them know, what up brother Hanif, Use the mic to let them know This is like Jurassic They got your birthright Knowledge is light They calling you black and you're calling them white 
Your name's Mega Allen, they're calling you Mike. Earth shadow is the darkness, they're calling it light. Sodom and Gomorrahites are called gays and dykes. False education appears real, they're calling it fright. She gone this beat, you're calling it tight. Effects from the roach blunt, calling it heights. With a razor blade on my line, I'm cutting your kites. Rapping blood clot gummies, worry about scuffing the nights. Feminized in tight shirts, showing muscles and ice. Deals, got him acting like the three blind mice. Rhyming for nursery, laying play for Andrew Dice. I'm pro, you draw, the beat is spike. Can't take my flow, you hope I ease it right. I keep it coming like food and ackee, peas and rice. No coleslaw, tonic roots, please, no sprite. Five cents for a bag, you I don't need. Alright, 65, 35, fam, no need to fight. Studio time paid with knowledge, time to leave the mic. Let them know. Use the mic to let them know. Let them know. Use the mic to let them know. The truth about nationality and birthright. Let them know. Ready for the give the young Babylon with my shit we Give them what they want so them won't come stash it We're ready for tech back with things and lash it Unified is the camp, nationality your stamp When we dealing with the land, we talk attaching this man So, who the white man, who the black man When the law was written by the brown hand Inspiration from a universal realm Said it distort the realness and take the film uh, Keeping world under lock and key Yo, cameras everywhere watching me Check it, claim my right to be who I am Public notice from seas to the land Who's ready to stand? I am in propia persona To hell with the fiat and the fake money launderers Love, truth, peace, freedom and justice It's time for the people to wait to when justice is Under contract, mind for combat Natural law, enemies got to fall back Love, truth, peace, freedom and justice It's time for the people to wait to when justice is Under contract, mind for combat Natural law, enemies got to fall back This is more. It's happy holiday. Know thyself. You better know thyself. As usual, yeah, talking crazy. Talking crazy. Shout out, Call hello, you how about you? Shy by Shimon Karpadash. The honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that do this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedoms to do so. To the hopefully elect, to the scattered Israelites among the heathen scattered around the earth that are like unto the speckled bird, to the aquaf that's listening and learning, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. Coming at you with another lesson. And uh, as you can see, this, this trade war is, is in this economic war that's going back and forth between America and China, now Iran and, and America. Um, you know, East. What, what, what are you talking about? They got right on the screen right there, they got Iran in all caps. Letting you know. You people still lost? Still dumb? How are you still dumb? How is it telling you Iran right there in all caps? What economic terrorism when... How come it says U.S. right there and you're talking about American? Throwing their own birthright under the bus because they, still, they think they know something. Because they have a YouTube page. These people aren't scholarly. It's crazy that Ms. brought it up last night. Made me actually think back, like, yeah, you couldn't be whack. You couldn't go on the stage trying to play like you're a scholar, talk some BS, and then get called up again after to talk, to say something. You know those people because those are the, the, back in the day, it would be the one lecture people. So you have the scholars and they got like 50 classes that they did. 
and then you have the one the one class guy who thinks because oh yeah we're rubbing shoulders with people or whatever we're scholars too no you're not sit the hell down somewhere because like we keep telling people we know Hebrew Israelites and they know that they're Moors they, they speak Hebrew they got all their books they quote unquote go by the law but they don't tell me about some Abraham and Isaac and all of the BS they talk about Prophet Nobu Ali. why because they're more scientists Hebrew Israelites we're talking about we're not talking about Moors who are in more science temple or Moors who proclaim their nationality or people uh, no we're talking about Hebrew Israelites that we know the Hebrew Israelites that we know we tell them Islam they say Shalom we already know that they're Moors and they know that they're Moors so anybody else saying that they're Hebrew Israelite but they're not Moors tripping because we know Moorish nationality card carrying paperwork carrying Hebrew Israelites they're more scientists even though they're Hebrew Israelites they're more scientists so they're not looking at the quote-unquote scriptures as some earthly BS everything is metaphysical when you're a more scientist everything is esoteric not playing around in no mundane but again that's why with last night you know people are, why he kept talking about this European and he had why didn't it, but that's the no that, that was a spiritual war that's why I brought the Quran to show you that this is a spiritual war it's not some physical stuff going on everything is esoteric metaphysical occult whatever when you deal with supernatural when you say you're more if you say you're conscious that is supposed to apply like that too oh it doesn't apply like that <laughs> you're not conscious nothing playing you they just have a YouTube page trying to get fed by the matrix the same matrix that they say is well, unplugging stuff like that eat porridge but they want you to patreon and whatever do we speak on our plane? Yeah, oh yeah, we get donations too. Because hey, Red Man wants fiat, but we're not chasing that. You know, economic, nothing right now. Everything is debt notes. What are you talking about? But if they had higher knowledge and were more scientists, they would know that Esau has a metaphysical meaning. Oh, oh. You mean it's not a man? No, no. Nothing to do with the human being. Get that stuff out of your head right now because like I said, we deal with stuff esoteric. We don't deal with the mundane BS. The mundane is where we at. But our work is happening on the spirit side. We're not, the physical is just the illusion. Esau. Metaphysical meaning. The body or physical vigor. In the immature consciousness, the natural man is moved by desire. Appetite and passion are satisfied regardless of the higher law. Esau sold his birthright for a mess of pottage. The threat of Esau against Jacob's life represents the inward rebellion that we often feel when we change our modes of thought. That's why I brought up the other Hebrews who are Moors. Because they know this. They know that Esau is not some ruddy, shaggy, hairy, and all that stuff. No, I'm European. It's not Esau. He says, you're dumbass. Who, metaphysically speaking, 
is going through the inward rebellion because you want to be Hebrew Israelites but not Moors. When we know Hebrew Israelites who are Moors, like what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean Jacob? Jacob what? Oh, Jacob is in a metaphysical Bible dictionary. You mean Jacob's not a man? No. 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 Twin brothers and all that middle finger stuff. They're playing with you. Every day, all day, they stay playing. And more trying to put you on some game because we already got our birthright. Those Hebrews who know that they're more, they got their birthright. Didn't they worry about Great Millstone and all these people playing around? These more are making sure that their family is secure so that their children could have something passed down to them relative to their nationality and birthrights. Forget some God sending down a man with some stuff for you. These people's stuff crashed in, in 1928. You're talking about 2019 economic, whatever. The hell are you people talking about? Jacob. Metaphysical meaning. Jacob and Esau represent the mental and the animal consciousness within each of us. Esau, the hairy man, typifies the animal, which comes first into expression. Most of the human family let him rule in consciousness. But in the line of human unfoldment, this man of nature, Esau, must be supplanted by a higher type called Jacob, the supplanter, the mentality or understanding. So don't worry about talking about some Europe because some of you some of them Europeans are more Jacob than you Jacobs who are talking about your Hebrew Israelites. Jacob also represents the idea of the I am identity through which the faculties of the mind receive their original inspirations. Jacob had 12 sons, to each of whom he gave an office, and to each of whom he blessed and inspired with his spiritual wisdom. The Bible narrative about Jacob and Esau has always been read historically, and theologians have had trouble trying to excuse Jacob and Rebekah for the apparent duplicity that they perpetrated upon Esau. When read in the light of spiritual understanding or considered as part of the history of the unfoldment of the individual soul, the indictment loses its aspect of duplicity and we find that it is a description of the subtle working of the soul in spiritual evolution under the guidance of the divine mind. The soul is progressive. We must go forward. The soul must meet and overcome its limitations telling you about some economic BS. The end of Esau's world is supposed to be the beginning of man being one with Yahweh. Man being one with Allah. Man being one with whatever they call or consider to be the higher manifestation, the divine mind. Because remember, the soul is progressive. The soul's not waiting for a physical to do anything. <laughs> you keep waiting for some economic whatever, just like 1999, had you stock up all that water, and 12 o'clock, nothing happened. And then the expiry date on the water. And then the expiry date's next week. <laughs> you, thought you, you thought you were going to outsmart them. We're playing around with you. Stay playing with you. Did you don't get it yet? All is mental. Man is mind. You don't get it yet. Okay. So I was trying to rally the other Edomites, the European countries, uh, other Edomite European countries to, to his cause. And a lot of people just aren't with it. So, uh, 
I'm going to let a bit of this video play. And, uh, I'm going to play none of that BS. Yeah, it's full of BS. Uh, man just email me. He say, how can I stop these people from levying my taxes? Say the Department of Revenue just put levy on my taxes. We going back to move forward. I need y'all family to listen to me. These writs and these affidavits that we sent you, the name declaration and the proclamation, they are all that you need. Hey, Gigi, good to see you. Alicia, when I say they all that you need, every single remedy that you're looking for, every remedy. Oh, I don't want these people to tax me. Oh, I'm tired of the service corporation members pulling me over. Oh, I'm getting tired of these uh, Department of Human Services being in my business, coming to my house and uh, talking crazy to me. Oh, I'm sick of child support. Oh, my baby mama is keeping my kids away from me. I'm my father that wants to be a part of my children's life. Oh, my, the father of my children is acting like he ain't got no sense and he treat me this type of way, keeping my kids. Every single remedy you're looking for is in the writs and the affidavits. Now, that is a crazy claim right there. That claim right there? If you come into this information and you think, you really think that that guy over there has a paper to sell you that's going to make you get out of the foreclosure that these people got you under tomorrow. You're tripping. If you think you went around, didn't do the natal chart, you went and slept with a demon, and then now the demon is giving you headaches and you owe $20 million in child support, and you gave about $50 million in child support already, And you think that guy over there has a paper that you can just put down a million and then this paper is going to get you out of some stuff that you got with these people? You're tripping. If you think that because you didn't handle your alcohol issues, they stopped you with hand sanitizer on your breath to tell you that you're drinking. And they took your license and took all your stuff and you think that that guy over there who you met at the court has a paper that you're going to buy from him and then you're just going to take that paper from him and then you're just going to throw it over there and these people are going to bow down to you and yield and, and say that they're sorry and all that stuff and, and pay you out. You're tripping. And you type of people are, are the people that these YouTube people love. You gullible dummies who don't think. The gullible ones. The ones who never stop to say, hold on a second. Eight grand for these 50 papers right here? All right, cool. And then you got these papers and then you're calling them and they're telling you every excuse in the book why they can't do something that they said that they're going to do that you paid for. And they get arrested and then they bond themselves out and then they're telling you that they got extracted because they sent this writ by the order. You people are perfect. You people are perfect. Because that's... The internet is the matrix. Not the world out here. Don't Out here's not a matrix. Out here is a simulation. Yo, you got stuff all messed up. Out here is a simulation. But, but the stuff that you're plugged into right now, you're plugged in, Plugged into the wall or plugged into the whatever, because something's going into the wall in order for you to be able to do the stuff. You get a signal. So, the fools who love the matrix are the ones who are going to get it the worst. Because you, you, you need not 
suffer. Because all is mental and everything is not about money. And money is gold and silver. So what the hell are you talking about? Because I don't see anybody around here with any gold and silver that they should be talking anything about money. Paying something for whatever. Now remember that guy over there. That guy over there. He has something to sell you that's going to get you out of any situation that you're in. Any situation that you're in. That's like doctor coming up and saying, any disease that you have, you take this $5,000 pill right here. And you go, oh, are you serious? I just have to take that. And then you take it and nothing happens. And you paid. And You, you, you don't, something's not, you didn't just realize what happened? How come you didn't realize that that guy just put a gun to you and went in your pockets? You didn't see that. You didn't notice that he violated you? That he took the broomstick on you? Now you let him put the broomstick on you, but then you're telling more who are, you know what I mean? Not even asking you for anything. Morris be on the phone with Morris for hours just to build with Morris. I'm not telling him no charge or nothing like that. What charge? Charge for what? Charge talk to my brother or my sister? You got to charge for that? You got to pay? Talk to your brother because he's the supreme, ancient, more of the round whatever? Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what else they got that's going to get you out of any situation that you're in. Let's see. Remember, any situation. I remember, this is the one pill. This guy, this guy right here, him and his moors, they have the one set of paperwork that's going to work for anything, any issues that you have. This paperwork or this whatever they got to sell is going to help you. If you think that that's a reality, forget them. You're in dead. Forget them. You, something's really wrong with your comprehension. Because there's no way. Now, you know, drastic times call for drastic measures. So, yeah. You know, they got your back against the wall in some situation. Uh, you know what I mean? And, you know, hey, you know. You're going to have to deal with whatever you got to deal with. But know for a fact that nothing's happening overnight like that. You're tripping. If you think you're just going to pull the tooth out and then you're not going to have any after pain. You'll just be there. You'll be all right. Tripping. Don't put on the pliers. Don't go check to see. I don't even really going to hurt. Put on the pliers and think for a sec. Like really think about it. There's no way. There's no way that there's one solution to every single problem. And only that guy has it. <laughs> only that guy. Nobody else has it. That guy right over there, he's the only one that has the solution. Don't worry about people who were before him. Don't worry about people who might come after him. Don't worry about people who's around him right now. Don't worry about any of them. Oh, he has the one thing that's going to get you off. Tripping. Everything. When you begin to study those, when you begin to file those, when you begin to slang those, when I call slang, I emailed my writs, I mailed them everywhere. I talked to people, I said, these writs are on the way, this is what these writs and these affidavits say, and you're going to have to uh, uh, do what you do, because this is the truth. I didn't get no response. Nobody bothered me. I stopped getting, they stopped taxing you. you 
that that's a lie. Don't let these people play you with that default BS. They know if they reply to you, they're contracting. They're not dumbasses. Like they don't know that you send them something and then it's not in the language of the stuff that they got from you yesterday. And they already got put on game, not only by their own, but by people on our side of the nation. You know, like, hey, if people are going to be sending these papers or whatever, watch out for them, you know, because they're not really the Moors that you should be dealing with. You should be really dealing with the Moors who are in the temple. And those are the only Moors, just like this guy is the only paper. You know, the only Moors that are credible or whatever are the ones that are in the temple and everybody else is a renegade. And these people have been playing. Why? Because they took it in your own hands. I mean, I took it in my own hands. I challenged all my so-called scholars who brought me up. I couldn't, they couldn't present anything to prove to me that I'm wrong about where I'm going with Moors? I think that, well, you know, there's some you Moors, and then you know there's some Moors that oh, so you know that there's so you so you know that there's such a thing. Oh yeah, yeah, we know. But you know, there's some Moors over there that they you know get arrested and they you know stuff happens to them because you know they go against the law. Of it. No, but you're saying that there's some over here that are. are what they're saying is legit. Yeah, yeah okay, all right, cool. Thank, thank you very much. That's all I needed to know. Next one. Next school of thought. Hey, let me go see some of your back newspapers or whatever. Huh? Why you want to see those or whatever? I just want to check something. Just want to check. Well, how come the name changed on the stuff? Like, why is it a different name? And I thought it was supposed to be called something else. Oh. Oh, all of a sudden you guys have your own language and stuff like that. Well, you know, how come you guys not? Where's you guys fezzes and stuff like that? Because I checked over here and I saw this guy with. Oh. You, oh, you guys knew? Yeah, well, you know, but then there's all these moors over here that, you know, all they do is, you know, they get stopped by the police because, you know, they, they wear a fez outside and people think they're masons and stuff like that. Okay, but but there's some moors over here that, that this is not some BS. Like, this is not. Oh, no, no, it's just, yeah, we have nationality, we're Moors, and oh, yeah, oh, all right, thank you very much. I'm already did a, whatever school of thought I came to before this. Then I get here, and I realize that, yeah, this, this, this is just as dirty as out there. Actually, this is dirtier than out there, because in here, these people know what's up. They already got the principles and the 101s and uh, they already know what's up already. So how come they're so against their brothers who are actually doing the right work and not trying to confuse people? Just throwing stuff out there just because you have a mouth. Having people lost, having people about to lose their house maybe because some guy sold them a package and Guy didn't come through on the package he sold. Oh, but don't worry. You know what I mean? I'm working on, on the thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just had to go on a plane somewhere. I'll be back in two weeks. Uh, well, yesterday we were talking about, you know, they're, they're coming to pick up the car because I didn't pay the thing because they told me stop paying because once I stop paying, then I can, you know, make a claim by putting a lien on the frog over there because the frog had something to do because it was on the roof and then the roof. You don't realize people played it? You don't need no processes. It's all in the writs and the affidavits that we send you. Everything. He said, how do you shut these people down? These writs and these affidavits. When we say declare your nationality, you are separating yourself from every colorable, false, unlawful thing that the people have been doing to you. These service corporation members have been doing to you since the beginning of time. 
1666 to be exact. Says the QV Act Trust. Converting everybody and everything into Chattel and property. Trading on the state stock market. Ooh, we getting hot right now. About to get into some things. So, uh, I'm going to send you a Freedom of Information Act after nationalization. This Freedom of Information Act is going to be a request from your personal hand to the IRS or the living being who's an agent for the Department of Treasury. After this Freedom of Information request, they're going to send you your Treasury account numbers. What are you going to do with those numbers? You're going to take form uh, to my brother. No, we already know that taxes without representation is unconstitutional. So how is it that you're asking for a treasury number from some foreign jurisdiction that has nothing to do with the treasury? So according to my understanding, nobody probably told them more that they got their own treasury. So why are you going to these people's treasury if you're a more and you're supposed to have your own treasury? And if you don't have a treasury as a more, you probably be questioning people who are turbans and fez about where, what happened to the treasury. The one grand treasury that they were supposed to be and everybody put their stuff in there and then that's supposed to be for the beneficiaries. Oh. Oh, but they're telling you go to IRS, who's a foreign, European, colonizing, whatever, and go to them, get some number to put on some form that you got from them, which is supposed to give you some type of freedom. Assimilation, really? That's, that's what your ancestors died for? Your ancestors died for you to be filling out IRS forms about some treasury number. Your ancestors, as great as you claim that they are, they died for our people to go to some Europeans, to get some number from them, to put on some paper. That's freedom? That's, if that's what you think freedom is, <laughs> you, might, you might as well just jump in the hole. No coffin, just jump in the hole. Let me do you like <laughs> Queen of the South. Just put you in the hole. <laughs> Leave you in the desert somewhere because you, you, you lost your marbles. Brother Will, who just inboxed me about taxes, we have affidavits and writs for you. The Mer Moorish American Consulate will send you your proclamation and your nationality documents then you email them to these colorable fake people who are levying your taxes. Oh, how are you going to tax a national? How are you going to tax a free national? Well, if you proclaim your nationality after these people started sending you letters about whatever, I think they have a contract with you in some way, shape, or form that you signed. They, were, they, they didn't sign anything. You signed, though. How come these people don't teach you about ex-relation? How come they don't teach you about the bridge between you and the corpse jurisdictions claiming to be government? I'm going to try to make it you have to separate from the separate from you separate from what that I thought that's that's colorable. If that's colorable, that's not real. If it's not real, if it's a semblance, if it's a simulacrum, what am I separating from if that's not real? Yeah, no, different than these black guys talking about a white man did them something. Anybody see the white man anywhere? Did somebody something? No? Okay. Keep, keep talking BS. No, just like these people talking BS to you. A colorable government did something to you. 
The colorable is artificial. If it's artificial, then it's not real. If it's not real, then what do you mean? But see, you have in order to you, once you get the affidavits and the writs that you get from them, now we're not charging you, we just download it, just download from our website, and then you have all these writs to get you out of whatever. But then when you check back in the day, there were civic classes where you're not going there and we're not talking about any history today. We're not talking about any arithmetic or any science or any, we're talking civics only. And then there was science day where we're only talking about more science today. We're not talking about anything to do with history. We're not talking about anything to do with what you want to talk about. Today is science day. And if those were more science temples, then that means that the, those were schools because they were teaching people because they had classes. I know this. That's the temple that we came out from. That they had temp they had classes every day of the week. They had something going on at the temple every day of the week, and that's because members had their studies on. They became adept. And then they started leading whatever they were mastering. Real simple. Whatever they were mastering, they had a day, time slot, where they were teaching. And it wasn't just the, 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 that was open to anybody. Anybody want to learn. When you come in here, you're not going to just be learning that because you're going to be around more and you're going to start questioning stuff. Like, oh, it's like, how come all these Moors are in here? I don't know anyone in here without a fez or whatever. All these sisters are here, and all of them are dressed there, and I got my little booty shorts on and stuff like that, feeling funny. And there was instruction. YouTube video? That's not that's not instruction. That's just reference point. You better go go study. Only reference point. This stuff right here is reference point. You're supposed to be watching this, taking notes, and then leaving this to go study. Not taking everything that came from it. Like, oh, yeah, I got them. All I got to do is just email them, and then I'm going to get... No, it doesn't work like that. Trust me, it doesn't work like that. Cut and paste, that's not, that's not a reality. Cut and paste is not a reality. That's what you are, bro. You're part of the Moroccan Empire. These are service corporation members. They think you're still a dead thing and not a living being. They still think you're a corporation. They think they're going to tax a, corpor uh, a corporation, not a living being. You didn't injure them. You didn't do nothing. For oh, yeah. And where's your friends at? How come these people that show up on YouTube and stuff like that Teaching you about more sh whatever they're teaching you. What is that? A turban, pheasant, they don't have anything? Just out here. Oh, I never got it yet. Oh, you never got it yet. But you're out here. You don't have... Oh, no, I forgot the turban at home. I just ran out. I just forgot the turban at home. You could just say that you wanted to show off your new hairstyle or whatever. You combed your hair out or something like that. Yeah, this good weave, you know, you don't want to put the turban over it and make it messed up. You can you can say that. It's cool. Don't lie that you forgot your turban home. And don't be coming on here that you, you're Moors. You're more. What? There's no representation? No representation. No, a fest doesn't make you a moral, whatever, but if you're teaching a group of morals, like, you should probably be looking like a moral, probably. Like, really looking like a moral if you're teaching morals.
for, uh, to them for them to be taking your hard-earned money. They got the game twisted. They got to leave you alone. So what you're going to do is, after you declare your nationality, you're going to send them a one-page document. Hey, according to the Zodiac Constitution, according to this affidavit in this writ that I'm a, a Moorish American, you don't have any jurisdiction to be taking funds out of my account. Hold on a second. According to studying or whatever, Zodiac Constitution, that's CMB. CMB has nothing to do with Moorish Consular Court. Those Moorish Consular Court talking about Zodiac Constitution. How do you just slide Zodiac Constitution in there? Like, if, because if you're talking about Zodiac Constitution, then that means you're talking Great Seal, National Association of Morse Affairs. If you're talking Great Seal, then you're talking Clock of Destiny. If you're talking Clock of Destiny, what do you need Consular Court for? That's what that stuff is. To handle the affairs of the people because you know the people need to handle their affairs. Now you're telling me about Morris Consular Court writs or whatever, but you're not telling me about Great Seal writs. Or are you really impostering as Great Seal under the guise of some name that you made up yesterday? Plot thickens. Jack, so keep your hands off before you get levy. We gonna put a levy and a lien on you for touching my uh my monies that I'm working hard for. This is sweat equity we talking about. Um, so with that Freedom of Information Act, we're gonna you can source this form if you want. I did. O M B number fifteen thirty five. OMB number 1535-0138, Treasury Direct Account. That's account authorization, activation for your Treasury Direct Account. You cannot do this. And Remember that? That wasn't filled out or anything. He didn't show you something that he's done. They're just showing you papers. They're showing you papers? And, oh, Treasury. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I need to email him right now because... Tripping. You better be a student of your nationality and birth rights. You better be a student of your nationality and birth rights. Like you better be a student of your nationality and birth rights. You better. Don't play like you're not a student. Don't play like you're not a student. You're going to play yourself. Because the whole point of Nobu Juali presenting this to us is for us to learn. The whole point is for us to learn because we were classified as Negro black colored, which means we weren't studying. And then people still black today, and they still don't study. People black today. And they still don't study. Just like they never studied before. And these non-studied people then get baited by some other non-studied individual who knows that they're not going to be getting karma, so they might as well send somebody else to do their dirty work or whatever. Then they send these little people out. And them sending these little people out, here you go, buying some package.
getting papers, getting cards, getting whatever. Whatever it is that they got from you. You're going to get it. You're trying to implement that. When this doesn't work like that. This is not some one swing home run stuff. This is not what this is. Most of the time, it's going to be 3-2. Most of the time. Most of the time, this one pitch is going to determine whether you walk or go to the bench like a dumbass. And then sit there till we go through all these guys again and your time comes again because you should have been on you should have got on base. If this is so foolproof. Don't tell me this stuff is foolproof and then when you implement it, nothing happens, and then you're mad at the Moors. Don't be mad at the Moors. Be mad at these clowns that told you this BS. Don't be mad at, at the temple. Be mad at the clowns in the temple that told you that BS. Don't be mad at the great works that Moors have done. No, be mad at the clowns who claim that they're doing great works when they were playing it. Right? Until you have your Treasury account numbers, how do you get them? The Freedom of Information Act to the Treasury Department. By Remember, this is Morris Consular Court people talking. What are they talking about? And of course, you know, they're not going to let you know that they don't really get down like that. I just played you to get you to it's no different than the people complaining on bed. Why why are you guys not talking about them like that? They're doing so much good work. What 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 good work are you talking about? What good work? Causing confusion is good work. That's what good work is now. It's no different than whack rapping is the thing now. Everybody's whack. And, and that's just cool. Oh, yeah, everybody's whack, but that's all right. You know, we'll listen still. We'll still go dance and pretend like we like this music while we get drunk. Really? Just sold out? Just sold out for the folly. Processes, they want you to do. Keep on running around, site drafting. Last, I could, I could count, 40 years, site drafts, 70s, UCCs, 80s, authenticating birth certificates, 90s, into the 2000s, uh, authorizing your treasury direct account, 2010, people are talking about naturalizing now into whatever, 40, 50 straight years, come on, man, bro, you talking about processes the only process necessary and needed to remedy all of your issues and situations is nationalization if you read line for line those writs and those affidavits you will see it separates you from taxes it separates you from the colorable jurisdiction of the united states service corporation it puts you back into alignment with your moorish nationality and history 105 110 years the Moorish science temple of america are not doing it right now the churches are not doing it right now all the social services and programs are are not doing it right now what i say when i mean it I mean, bringing the Moore Empire together as a family, it, right now. Once we do that, we don't have to worry about nothing. Oh, well, where's our delegation of authority? Let me read it to you. Delegation of authority. 1099 affidavit filed by Drew Ali on August 1st, 1928 at 2.52 p.m. in the Cook County Recorder of Deeds office. Document number 1010-5905, book 521, page 579, will serve as the delegation of authority under which the Moorish American Consulate of America shall conduct this business. The I'm pretty sure that's not how that reads. I'm pretty sure. Let's just follow along. Let's just follow along with this. This is very 
interesting. Very interesting. Order and Deeds Office, document number 10105, book delegation of authority. 1099 affidavit filed by Drew Ali on August 1st, 1928 at 2.52 p.m. in the Cook County Recorder of Deeds Office. Document number 1010-5905, book 521, page 579, will serve as the delegation of authority under which the Moorish American Consulate of America shall conduct this business. That's our delegation of authority. We have it just like the Moorish Science Temple of America has it. The only difference is, let me show you something. You, what do you mean you have it? How the Morris Science Temple of America has it? That's a corporation. That's not a nation. No, no, it's supposed to be handling national affairs. No, you're a corporation. And then how come I read this, whatever. I don't see anything in here about any consular anything. Now, this is our authority. Morse Holy Temple of Science. Adopted as its corporate name, Morris Science Temple of America. So if Consulate did what Nobu Ali did, then they're just corporation. Did they say play any? Because what are they trying to tie this to? Oh, Nobu Ali Trust? Oh, well, how come? Morris Science Temple versus Frank Lewis Bay, who's trustee of Morris or whatever like that, and all that stuff. I thought they're not supposed to be going to European court against their brother and all that stuff. They don't put ink on there. This is Morris Science Temple ink. What is going on here? This is what you're tying yourself to? All this madness? Instead of you going out there and just studying? You want to follow people? This is where they're following you. Into dens with rabid hyenas and, and, and whatever else is in there. And you're taking these people serious. Selling you out. Yeah, I mean, selling you out to the highest bidder. They're just selling you out. Just because they can't. Because you want to be dumb. Playing, y'all. Yeah, in case you didn't get to see. In case you didn't get to see. Found, found the Al Green pitcher, him with his lodge buddies there. Tell your boys who they know what's up. When your boy Lionel Richie gave his 30 grand to the lodge so they could have the restoration fund and all that stuff or whatever like that. So, you know. You know all the big timers who are in there, you know they're giving it up. If he gave up 30 grand, Lionel Richie, your boy. Yeah. All the crew. All the crew. You know, they had to give their donation and stuff. Oh, you don't want to hear it? You don't want, oh, nobody knows. 
What's up? Yeah. Your boy, you got a movie and everything. So good. Are you sure they're not? You sure these pictures gonna make it out? Don't let these pictures get out. I don't want the Negroes to know that we Masons. Well, we know. We know. So I have to get that commercial out there. Islam. Peace. I want to thank all the Moors for tuning in. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We live now. Um, once again, just want to tell everybody this video is going to be important. Make sure that you share this with everyone. Make sure that you like, comment, and share this. Um, first and foremost, we want to rise, give honors, praise to the Most High Father of the Universal Law. We always give honors to our illustrious prophet, Noble Drew Ali, for bringing us our divine creed and for teaching us to love instead of hate. We always give honors to the forerunner to the prophet, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. We also give honors to the first appointed Supreme Grand Sheik of the Moore Science Temple of America, and that is Brother E. Millie Ill. In addition to that, we also give honors to the current Supreme Grand Sheik of the Moore Science Temple of America, and that's Brother D. Bailey Ill. We give honors to the Supreme Grand Council. Oh, Darren Woods, Darion Woods. Ain't no authenticating, no birth certificate. Whoever told you that played you. Recognize that. Whoever told you that played you. There's no such thing as authenticate a birth certificate. No such thing. That's an illusion. That's a fiction. Anybody telling you about authenticate birth certificate, they're playing you. Then you right now, don't tell you that you weren't told. Don't come back in a year and tell me about you got the authentication now and now you're really a more and all that BS. I'm telling you they're playing you. Telling you that. You do whatever you want. But anybody telling you about authentication of birth, that's that right there, authenticated on birth, that's most definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, that is most definitely confusion caused by YouTube morals. Authenticate the birth certificate. Guarantee you. And use your common sense. If you're claiming that you're a more, and you have nothing to do with that, how are you going to claim that as yours now? Use your common sense. Don't be a dumbass. Think about it. You are saying somebody call you dog shit and you say, I'm not dog shit. But then you're putting shit in your pocket, going around picking up dogs and picking up dogs you're putting in your pocket. These people play you with dumb stuff. And then also, too, make sure you go look up Authenticate so you know what the hell you're doing when you go do that. Because I know some of you gullible Negro Mars be running to go authenticate some birth certificate even though you know it's BS. Because somebody put some fiction about bottomless account in your in your brain. Now you're telling me about authenticate some birth certificate to access some account or some BS. We give honors to the grand body at all tried and true members of the Moore Science Temple of America. We also give honors to don't forget tried and true is Masonic, Masonic top. Just remember, 
addition to that, we also give honors to the current Supreme Grand Sheik of the Moore Science Temple of America, and that's Brother D. Bailey L. We give honors to the Supreme Grand Council. We give honors to the Grand Body at all tried and true members of the Moore Science Temple of America. We also give honors to all of the faithful Moors out there, regardless of your affiliation or, um, you know, where you stand. If you are proud of uh, positive, prosperous, working towards the upliftment of our people, we're with you. We give honors to you. And of course, always, we give honors to everybody. For also sharing this video for helping to spread this information, um, this, this uh, knowledge and wisdom that we're going to share. Okay? Um, I think it's very important, really, that people tune into this and share this video you see the screenshot on here uh, if you don't uh, let me pull it up for you. you you see how it says scams you know what what to watch out for that's basically what we're gonna get into it's it's really important Morris that um, you know what's going on out here because it's really not all good it really isn't okay you got you got a lot of a lot of um, stuff going on that has no business, okay, that's not even a part of the movement. And that has no business, you know, being passed off as a part of the movement or having Moorish American anything even tied to it. But it's gotten mixed in, and it could be very confusing. And that's why we're going to discuss this and cover um, what, what's real and what's not. And just, you know, so that everybody out there has a heads up, so nobody can come back later and say, I, I didn't know, okay? that you know all right and so like I said that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna go into it in depth and explain some things that I'm sure you know most of you do not know about okay and so like I said you know it's just really important that people know what's going on out here all right because I mean like it's, it's serious it's really serious and um just so you know that this isn't all talk um, everything that I'm saying, you can look in the description for this video and check these sources out. Just so that you know that I'm not just trying to bash on people who think they figured something out, who think that they got something that's working. You know, I'm not trying to just shut people down for no reason or something crazy like that. It's not like that at all. But um, like I said, um, just make sure that you share this video, okay? And um, do the research yourself. Don't just watch this. Also, go and look at the resources in here and then even take it even further than that, okay, on your own. All right. But, yeah, like I said, this is important. And um, one of the reasons that we're going to go ahead and go into the screen share so I can show you something. One of the main reasons why we're doing this is because, you know, I'm coming across all types of stuff. Uh, we have a group, for those that don't know, on Facebook, um, for the most part. It's uh, in the Moors in America group. If you're not on Facebook with us already, get on there. Just look up Moors in America. Okay, but yeah, uh, recently somebody has shared a post. It was a female. And um, on here, we're going to be blocking people's names. I'm personal. I'm not trying to put anybody on blast. We're just dealing with the information. All right. But if you can read this. All right, this lady, blah, 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 bae talking about she's feeling betrayed and she put this out saying imposter alert right um basically there's a dude who's selling the secured party creditor information all right and he's calling himself noble this giving himself all types of uh titles implying leadership and he's selling this information and he got over on him right so if you got over on him why are you showing his name How come we don't know who the hell this is? If you're a buyer, beware, and you're doing a more service announcement to call out somebody because they robbed somebody of something, then why are you hiding? Are you in conspiracy with, with them robbing people? You know they got something on you, so you don't want them to come? So what, what's the problem with We already know USR, we USA are a fraud. We already know they're a fraud. But who are you talking about? We want to know. 
inquiring minds want to know who you talking about. We don't care about who got played. Because they did their due diligence, put it online with the name in there. I know they didn't scratch that out. Are you protecting the guilty party? And so um, I skewed dude's name out because, like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, she's, I'm pretty sure she's, she's not making this up, you know. But like I said, we're not making it about the person because pretty much anybody selling this stuff is bogus. But we'll get into that later. All right. But um, yeah. So uh, like, if you can't see this, it says I think it's paramount to forewarn our brothers and sisters of this imposter targeting the communities. She joined these Moorish groups just to spread the message, right? That's how I saw it. She's to sell it off as his own charges up to fifteen hundred dollars for a secured party creditor. Yeah, they're charging fifteen hundred. You're not showing who that is. They got their mug shots up there and everything, and then you not letting people see who that is. Now we have to wonder who, what side these people are on. Because remember, these people are using this as clickbait or whatever to get views. And and the sister or whoever it was that got played, they put out who did it. And then they're not... How come they're hiding the people who did it? How are you hiding the people who are selling people's birthright? And then talking about you're for uplifting fallen humanity. This is clickbait. Man, uh, Islam to the indigenous indigo to the person in there that said put the name out there. You know what? I'm not putting the name out there because anybody selling this is bogus. No. But just don't go anywhere. Watch the video and I'm going to show you why. I'm not just saying that. Anybody selling this stuff? You're trying to sell this secure party creditor stuff for five hundred. She said fifteen hundred, which is ridiculous. Three hundred, two hundred, fifty dollars. I don't care. You're bogus. But we're gonna explain why. You bogus for not telling who it is that's selling. All these people need to be put on blast who's selling stuff. Oh, oh yeah, people are selling stuff. They're bogus. What you mean? People sell DVDs. People sell books. How's that bogus? How's it bogus that we sell? Moorish hip hop music. So you make a you use the broad brush. Well, you can't use the broad brush if you're specifically talking about this one individual who hit up this individual for fifteen hundred for paperwork. She had his mug shots up there, and these people are still hiding people? Right? And then, so, she in the chat talk about, put the name out. No, nah, you're not putting it out. You're not putting it out, because everybody who sells stuff is bogus. Okay, she said it came from an old Albion process. She's talking about your people of European descent, but we're going to show that's that's she didn't just make that up. This is true, but we have the facts here today so that you can see why you don't need to be buying this stuff from anybody. Okay, and she says in here that she gives this information away for her group that she's the moderator of, right? Right, so you can find this information because it's played out. They've been doing this stuff since the um, 80s and even before that. It ain't played out if people, if lady just called me the other day, she got hit for five grand. The hell you mean played out? They're nothing played out. It's still going on. What are you talking about it's played out? How's it played out when she just got hit up for 1500 What do you mean it's played out? How is it? 
Now somebody just got hit for five grand. But this is played out. It's 2019. What do you mean this is played out? This is a cash cow for these moors. Who? The ones that we know, we put their ass out there. So everybody knows who they are. Not some broad brushing, oh yeah, all those guys over there are dirty. What do you mean? That's not necessarily true. It's these specific individuals. I'm not calling out the traitors. This guy. So it's played out now. But we're going to get into that. Just stick around. Because we have receipts. I had the proof to show you. Okay, so she's saying like the dude charging all this money for this secured party creditor mess. And you can get it for free. All right. And he got all these different locations he's in, which I'm not trying to go in because she's showing his mug shots and stuff. I'm not trying to go in this like this. It's not about this personal stuff, but I'm just showing you this. Right. She's just going on about the stuff that he says to try to get over and showing screenshots, showing that she actually sent this dude money, you know. And I mean, like one of the people I was talking about earlier who just all of a sudden now he's Moorish and he's throwing Noble Drew Ali's name, but he's selling this mess. He'll take pictures on the beach with money, doing all this stuff, trying to make you think he's getting paid off of that. All right. And I mean, like. It's whack. So, um, yeah, somebody else commented on here. Another dude said something, something, bae. Yeah, that blah, blah, tried to get me and somebody else finance. Somebody else is co-signing like, yeah, they try to get me. Look, it's not, it doesn't matter who it is. They are bogus. If they're selling it, they're bogus. You got to watch the whole video because the facts are in here showing how anybody selling this mess is a, is a scam artist. They're bogus. Okay. But you got to be patient because we're not going to take too long. I promise you, I'm going to speed through this stuff. All right. So be patient. Just a little patient. Watch because we're going to reveal. Keep watching. You're going to see why. Cured party creditor. Other dude charging $1,500. He's only charging $497. But we're going to show you why it's, it's, it's played out. Like she said, it's online for free. You can get this stuff for free. Somebody packaging it up. They ain't even doing nothing. It's a digital product. It's just some paperwork and stuff you know files pdf files and images you download it they're not even really providing you with anything a tangible or anything that's valuable right and so that's why i'm saying it doesn't matter who's selling it if you patient and watch the video you're going to see why this is all bogus they're all copying it i'm going to show you who they're copying it from how bogus the people they copied it from are they're europeans by the way and how they're all locked up now okay that's why it's bogus so anyway, secure party creditor, five hundred dollars. They want it. They charging five hundred <laughs> for something that's free. Charging like a bag of coins, a bag of you know. No, it doesn't matter. This website is, but this would predate Moore's being on this information because Moore started to get into it in the eighties, whereas the Europeans who were on it, they started in the sixties with everything. Secure. Stop the BS. In the 60s, in the 60s, there were no Moors that were, oh, let's just check this out. Let's just see what comes up. Let's see what comes up. Let's see. Because these people making it sound. These people making it sound as if Moors exercising their rights is some new concept. Moors exercising their right is some new concept. Remember, they're the old players that, oh, they're copying from some Europeans. Well, 
Why is it if you're copying from some Europeans, then how is it that you're talking about these Moors copying from some Europeans? But you're going to be using naval post postgraduate school thesis, which naval postgraduate school, that's just European school. You're going to be using their stuff to justify your position that, look, these Moors who are sovereign citizen, hold on, let's, let's, let's just ask this European. Let's see. There's no such thing as that sovereign and a citizen. The term sovereign and citizen is an oxymoron. <laughs> oh, it's not just us that say that, huh? Mm. It's, it's not us that say that. Mm. Nothing to do with you. Right. And it's not even working for the Europeans that are using it against themselves. Right. 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 So um, we're going to keep it moving. I'm going to show this naval uh, postgraduate thesis and um, then we're going to keep it moving from there. But um, like I was saying, though. All right. This is a post naval uh, naval postgraduate uh, thesis on the sovereign citizen move. Just some stuff that you should know. This is what you're gonna roll with hard, cause you know the people are getting caught up and they don't even know what they're doing. This stuff sounds good. You hear somebody saying, "Yeah, blah blah blah." We have this 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 and that. It sounds good, right? Yeah. Okay, but you don't know where it's coming from. Okay, so um, the FBI has identified the sovereign citizen movement as a persistent and emerging threat to the security of the United States. Citizen. The term sovereign and citizen is an oxymoron. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Bob. Thanks for that. This perception is shared by the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Anti-Defamation League, blah, blah, blah. Both actual violence and paper terrorism. Um, hang on a second. Okay. The sovereign said they call it SCM. The sovereign citizen movement followers believe nearly all existing government in the United States is illegitimate. And followers refuse to be subjected to the illegitimate government. Hold on, hold on a second. When I double checked, come to find out who wrote the thesis is our friend, Sheriff Devon Bell. He's the sheriff now. Now he's sheriff. He made it. He made it after he wrote the thesis because he was under sheriff when he wrote the thesis. So now he's sheriff because he threw Moors under the bus. So he he got his he got, he got to get his smile on. This is the guy. This is the guy whose thesis you're using to show that Moors are tying themselves to some sovereign whatever. This is hold on a second. Isn't this guy hold on a second? Isn't this guy's name Sharif? I'm sure his name's Sharif or whatever. Isn't it Sharif Ali or something like that? Now, how come the Sharif guy is using the sheriff guy, Bell, Bell, Devon Bell, sheriff guy, to throw his own stuff under the bus? Because remember, all these temple Moors, they still think that, you know, Moors active are part of some sovereign citizen, even though, oh yeah, let's just ask this European one more time. But what he said, was he said something crazy. 
very profound. <laughs> the term sovereign and citizen is an oxymoron. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, European. Now, if his name is not Sharif, pardon me. But it's really interesting that you're taking some European sheriff's thesis to throw your own birthright under the bus because you're a temple more. We know you're a temple more. Just by the names that you give honors to, we know you're a temple more. And temple moors are the most passive moors. Don't think because they went up and they did some type of ritual with the mayor or something like that, 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 that's supreme. That, that's just some basic stuff they've been doing for the past 40 years, ever since whoever's dad was the temple head. Not some stuff because you're seeing it today. Oh, wow. They're getting recognized by the... How come they're getting recognized and, and Philly's going to shit? Still, how come they're so recognized? They know different than, oh yeah, Moss Miriam, yeah, but Chicago's murder rate is nuts. The hell are you talking about? What are you doing? Show me some boys marching up and down in some uniform, but people are getting murdered outside, and you're telling me that stuff is everything's good? Well, everything's good, okay, right, right. Oh yeah, you, you guys don't worry about the afterlife. You're dealing with, with here, the here and now. You don't worry about no posterity. You're thinking about right now. Using a sheriff, thesis to throw your birthright under the bus. You people, whoever's watching these people. You're thinking they're telling you something, they're giving you some knowledge. No, they're using a sheriff guy's thesis. That they were just talking BS about Morris who's following European stuff, and now they're following European stuff? Does that make sense? They're just talking BS about Morris following some Europeans, because they've been doing this since the 60s, and Morris has been doing it since the 80s, so the Europeans are the founders. All right, Kai, we're going to go with you on that. Well, your thesis comes from a European. Your, 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 your reference point for these Moors to go study comes from a European. Just like the Europeans who you're telling the Moors about the sovereign, whatever like that, why are they following that? Oh. If you don't think that's a contradiction, something's wrong with you too. You too need to go get your head checked. Because your head's not good. Furthermore, extremists resort to active violence and view themselves at war with the government. They believe an all-out confrontation with the government is not only inevitable, but actually must occur to achieve their objectives. And remember these... And then I tell you again, the United States Security and Exchange Commission, Canada, is a corporation. United States, a corporation. Walmart can't be a government. I don't care how much you want it to be a government. Burger King is not a government. It's not a government. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The supermarket? No, it's not a government. It's not a government, sorry. I know you want it to be ice cream! Bob! Too bad they don't have vegan ice cream. That'll be the one, a vegan ice cream truck. There you go, boys. I, there, I gave you one. Somebody do that one. Vegan ice cream truck. But it'll be for next year, though. It's getting late. Watch these moors.
people aren't just like they're not in the same position as more because you guys aren't like you don't have malicious you're not out in the woods training and um you know living off the land and like because they have people you know they might you know go out there for a few months just so they can stay up on their toes living off the land and and training shooting militia groups right they have all that all right they're really planning on war so it's crazy that the, the FBI shouldn't even mention Moors in the same sentence with these guys because it's not the same. Guys are not prepared like that, right? Which is why you shouldn't even be trying to get associated with it. You're not on that level. They're trying to go to all-out war. Recent years marked an increase um, in numbers of individuals embracing the sovereign citizen movement ideology. Let's see. Let's go. And then they say... The results, including militia and hate groups, are included here. It's just showing how it's climbing, right? Right. The hate groups is the ones in dark. They climbing. They way up here. And then the militia groups, you know, for the most part, now they climbing. Like 2010 jumped up to the, you know, over 300, right? So I'm saying, like, these guys, they're not just talking. They backing it up. They got the art, right? So, uh, something else I wanted y'all to see. Okay, the sovereign citizen movement can trace its origins back to post-Civil War Posse Comitas movement. However, really began to develop in the late in the 70s and in the 1980s with the resurgence of the Posse Comitas movement. A serious recession and a farm crisis often identified as the catalyst for the resurgence in the movement, right? That's where the guy that Roger Elvick dude and says Gerald Smith, Richard Butler, William Gale, right? These guys started to come out. They had this they had this thing they call Christian Identity Movement. It's a it's a white nationalist group, which cons consists of ideology steeped in racism and anti Semitism. Men like William Gale embraced Christian identity theology and used it and its racially based theology as a foundation for the underpinnings of the sovereign citizen movement. So this is how I'm just showing you all he's so lovingly using some European colonial smear campaign as credible to prove claims opposed to just show the individual's name who's selling packages you are playing around with an hour and 15 minutes and you could just show, show who it is that did this stuff and keep it moving you're going through all this BS this this thesis was written by this guy. This is the thesis. Why is he writing him? Why is he using his thesis as a reference? Because remember, the school where he went to is the naval school, which comes from the Navy, which is because of the Moors, they have a Navy. And now he's siding with the people who fought his ancestors. This is how deep the sellout is, and we tell you that these are the people come again. The sellouts, the people whose, whose mom spit on them. The people whose mom had to spit on them because they sold out. Because remember, if we say, forget this guy, he doesn't matter. Okay, well, let's go to his, just, just go to his credentials. BA in Criminal Justice Management, Master of Arts in Security Studies from the Naval Postgraduate School. Off the top. Everything else is management and training course. His school was the Naval Postgraduate School, which was founded because of the Navy. And the Navy is who they created in order to fight against the Moors who were robbing them blind. And here comes the sellout today, still working with them. 
still pushing their agenda. Of keeping Moors passive. Not active. Which again is going against the Nobu Jali said, because Nobu Jali said all Moors are. This is how all the dirties study. This is how they do. They don't fact check who they're getting their stuff from. Because more of a study, more more look up more of look up anything. More of look up anything. Just because. It's just more of look up roles just to see what, what, what that is. It's not a joke out here. Man, I'm sure if you do, do if, you know, there's more who do more deeper research that they're gonna go into Bell and find out that you know, his dad's the grand potentate of whatever. Then. Then what are you gonna do? Because again, you know, we don't bleep out people. We don't scratch them out so you don't know who they are. We let everybody know who these people are. They're either going to jump ship or they're going to get right. Or they're going to keep doing the BS that they've been doing. Which, you know, we've seen all the ones that jump ship already. That their whatever, whatever days are over. Don't hear from them. Don't see them. They don't got no YouTube page, no Facebook, no nothing. Whatever else they want to do, they go ahead. They don't got no phone, nothing. Off the grid. Or go somewhere else and play some other stupid people. All right, that's cool. Let them deal with you. Let them deal with that nigga. At least we don't got to deal with him anymore. Exile people. Oh, well, the same people that come up with this just came yesterday and now they're a scholar because they did they did some video presentation with, with, with somebody credible, now they're credible. Nah, you couldn't stand next to the master teacher as a student and get his props. It doesn't go like that. It doesn't go like that when we're coming up. You know what I mean? You're not, you know, getting your blessings from from touching Jesus' pants. Touch his pants now. You now now you you got the spirit of God. Get the hell out of here. This guy's source is the sheriff guy, but they're Moors though, and they study and they you know, they got a YouTube page and they whatever, but they they know what's up. They know what's up. How they help spread it by appealing to the fear that all of these white males and women too, my, uh, males and females, have that they're like dying out, you know. And so they appeal to that racism to get them to roll together. Ooh, man, we need to we need to bang out on them, right? Uh, many followers of the Christian Identity Movement and Sovereign Citizens Movement were adherents of various pseudo-scientific theories put forth by Lothrop Stoddard, advocated the Aryan race was superior to people of African or Jewish descent based on evolutionary differences. He outlined the pure race was Aryan, blah, 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 blah. Sovereign Citizen Movement, though, currently, although racist factions still exist, they didn't go anywhere. The sovereign citizen movement is being embraced by and then they got African Americans, Asian Americans, Latinos, and Jewish people. In particular, black adherents have increased significantly over the last 30 years, which is really crazy. And they employ many of the same tactics as their Caucasian counterparts. It's crazy this being co-opted by people who consider themselves Moors. Right? And like the brother Islam, shout out to Jesse in the uh, chat. Yeah, you don't realize how good you have it, right? Most of you have never been anywhere outside of the United States, man. I'm just speaking on someone who's lived in South America for several years, okay? It's not the same, bro. We can drink the water out the faucet, 
Okay, but there the water was um brownish. What? I wouldn't drink that. <laughs> Don't we listen to these people trying to get you to <laughs> coming out the faucet. All right. And almost nobody was just straight drinking it. Almost everyone had some type of filter. They pouring water and you couldn't just drink the water, but you're still bathing in it. Right. And that's nothing. They didn't have food stamps and all of these things. They don't build projects for the poor everywhere you go. Right. And just lights. You know, you get hot water coming out the, the wall, man. There's people, they don't have hot water. They just have cold water. And if they want hot water, they got to put some electrical contraption on the... See, see some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about because you've never been anywhere, but this is for real. You got to put a water, some contraption on the water faucet just to make the water hot coming out. And then that makes the electricity bill all expensive because electricity is expensive there because everything's expensive. Everywhere, people are... Really no happen. Same thing that happened to them happened to the Negroes here because they don't want to be who their ancient foremothers and forefathers were. So they lost all their stuff. Stop complaining. Same thing all over the world. Doctrine of discovery. European went there and claimed that these people are savages. Gave them Christianity. Civilized them. Now they rule. And then you're still playing around like you don't know what else is going on? When the time comes, when the time comes, there's going to be a judgment. That heart is going to be weighed on uh, with the feather. Keep playing around. You think, you think that, that not having lights and cold water and water to drink, you think that that's some hell or whatever? <laughs> That's your hell? It's cool water coming out the wall. That's your hell. Really? Because I know people who know people in those islands, and they don't know the resort people. They know the people in the mainland. And the people in the mainland, you know, all they really want is just, you know, bring down some clothes or whatever like that. You know what I mean? And we'll be good. That's it. Yeah, just, you know, just bring down some clothes. No, but like, what do you need, though? You need... Because their life is simple. I've never been to India, but I know people who went there. And they say, what they show on TV about what's going on over there, that's not what's going on over there. You shouldn't trust anything that these people put on the TV about anywhere that you're not there to see. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Especially in this day and time. That's why I don't have cable. Talking to somebody last night, people come over, hey, I'll live. So, you, you don't have cable? No. Why would I have cable? The hell do you have cable for? To, to, for what? Did you see that library over there? <laughs> you want to do something? Go read a book. How about that? You want to do something? I was sitting here and watch live class. Learn something. You're playing. Really like hustling and they really don't have it as good as us. Okay? You have no idea how many... Oh, is in Bahia. I lived in Bahia for five years, bro. I already know. Right? And it's like, yeah, I've been in the hood too. And guess what? It's nothing. It's, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. We have it good here. We have so many opportunities. It's the land of milk and honey. Why wouldn't it be good here? Why are you making it sound like, you know, we have it good here. It's the bad thing. What do you mean? This, this is what's up. Of course our civilization is going to be like this. What do you mean? Why wouldn't we have it good here? Like here is... is you know what I mean? Behind God's back or something. Here is the vast estate. Here 
Here is why we wear that fez right there. Here is why we wear that fez. What are these YouTube scholars, playing, playing people, have YouTube for nothing. The big proponent of all these redemption methods may have even contributed to the writing of some of these redemption manuals. I'm not sure, right? Oh, here he is right here. And Who's I just wanted follow? to share that because boy? people are following these people's my, these people's um, tactics verbatim. You're following this and it didn't work for them. That dude and I was just showing, he wound up getting locked system. up. William P. Gale, he wound up serving time, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, bitch, led several racist groups, right? Self-styled minister who headed the white supremacists, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, um, and this was, what is this? You have it good here, and instead of, you know, and it didn't work for them, so why would it work for you, right? Um, based on debt, and you know that they believe in this stuff, they don't, but yet everyone's trying to grab them, everyone's trying to get more of them. So, um, represented the Republic of another reason why, though, you know, you, you want to stay away from this stuff. Somebody had shared this in the group. How to steal a mansion. Property listing reflected last year from us. Yeah, but you know, this is something that's built off a house of cards. You're saying you're okay. And like I was showing you, there, there's a common, there's a common um, pattern, and the common pattern is that all these dudes are getting locked up. Now, this one I wanted to. Created by um, CM Bay, all right? But there's more to it than that, all right? That's not all, all right? Now, most of the paperwork, because you do have some innovation. You have people, they have their own declarations, you know, and your declaration of nationality because people aren't trying to go within the society that the Prophet Noble Drew Ali established for us. So they're trying to create their own thing. No, people are not going into the society that Prophet Noble Drew Ali because because they sold out they're taking their brother to European courts or whatever so what you mean like there's some option more science temple sold out the very few temples they're not part of the grand body because they know the grand body's sellouts what do you mean pretending like we give honors to the guy yeah, pulling that Malcolm BS we ain't giving honors to sellouts what do you mean you're giving honors to a guy who you said is a pedophile? What do you mean? He's a pedophile, but you're giving him honors? What do you mean? These people sold you out. So yeah, you have to fend for yourself. And we ride the Moors who've been fending ever since Noble Juali. And we're talking leaders. We're not talking about, about people who got handed down stuff to them and now they're they're the head whatever. Or their dad was the whatever, so they were the successor or something. We're not talking about that BS. We're talking about who was we're talking about the ones who were on our authority. And the only one that was left was Melio. The only one stayed true to the cause. And then after him. Then after him, we had CMB. And don't get caught up with the Moorish International College of the Great Seal BS with Nakim Bey, who are the Moors who moved, moved. Right? This is 2000. 9-2010 Finding out about the certificates that were filed and calling Lady answers I'm calling about the CMB certificates because I'm looking online right now and 
It says that all I have to do is call the Library of Congress, let them know that I want the certificates, and I'm supposed to get them. Hold on. Comes back. I can send you to the Copyright Office so you can get the copyright certificate of what was filed here. Why? Isn't there stuff there that you're supposed to give me a copy of or something like that? Well, it's not there. It's supposed to be there, but it's not there. So the next best thing is go to the copyright office and get the copyright of what was filed in here because he would have had to copyright it to put it in there. All right. Go to copyright. They wanted their little notes or whatever, how much ever per page or whatever it is. Sent the certificates or copies of the certificates of what was filed. There was no Moorish International College of the Great Seal filed in the Library of Congress. Fraud. Don't forget. When we found out about Great Seal and Clock of Destiny and CM Bay, Nakim Bay didn't know that I already did my research or whatever and I was playing possum or whatever. But when he's telling me about, well, you know, you have to start off with a red tie and a white shirt and all this stuff. I'm like, what are you talking about? What do you mean, what do you mean red tie, white shirt? What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, you know, because of the order of the, the great seal and the... Da, 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 da. Um, all right, I'll call you back. Because I already knew. Because lady gave up the goods when I called about the certificates. I don't know if anybody else ever called about the certificates. Well, when I called, she hop, skip, jumped to what I was requesting. She knew exactly what I was talking about. There was no, um, uh, well, I don't think that she knew exactly what I was talking about. And she didn't know exactly where to go. She wasn't off the phone, but under five minutes. She could have just sat there and went nowhere. But when people are telling you what you want, you know that they're sincere. When they're telling you that, oh, so you want the this and the this and the this. Yeah. All right, hold on. I don't think she just sat there. So for 2019 to be here now, I already know what the certificate, I already know what's filed in there and all that stuff. I already know what's going on. And then now there's a Moorish International College of the Great Seal. And then again, this is all that online stuff that people get, get caught in. Because they don't realize that they're getting played. And then these people are coming from the perspective of, see, that's not what Noble Joe Ali brought. No, don't disrespect Clock of Destiny. Don't disrespect Zodiac Constitution. Don't disrespect CMB by tying him to Dirty Moors. Call out the Dirty Moors only. They got their name right there telling you that they're running a fraud. How they got Clock of Destiny in brackets and not Moorish International College of the Great Seal, which is a fraud. Shouldn't the fake stuff, when we say black, we put quote-unquote on the black. We don't quote-unquote more. Why you quote unquote more? Well, the quote unquote more is no, you do that to the black. <laughs> do you know what they're doing? 
Fortunately, we know what time it is. Fortunately, some mores know. This long to the, the 60 mores that's viewing. Make sure you like and share. And if you're going to thumbs down, thumbs down and get the hell out of here. Don't be sneak studying and then thumbs down and after because we dissed your friend. Shut the hell up. Right? He doesn't own CM Bay's stuff. That's like more Science Temple saying they own Noble Juali stuff. Which is what they try to pull, which is why they take, you know, they took their brother to court and stuff like that. Right. What about the Clock of Destiny nationality card? This card pertains to a private organization that has been copyrighted with the Morris Zodiac Constitution since 1994. Since 1994, CMB was before 1994. Why was it just copyrighted in 1994 if CMB already put it in... Hold on a second. CMB, CMB copyrighted, put it in the Library of Congress. So why would it be copywritten again in 1994 if it's not to steal it in order to have jurisdiction over it so nobody else can have access to the birthright? That CMB gave up the, the vault. He said he didn't want the finance in the vault because this is the people's birthright. They begged CMB not to file his stuff in the Library of Congress, according to the Marsh teachers. They begged him, please don't file it. We'll give you the vault. We'll give you the vault of everything. And he didn't sell up. And then people are coming today and telling you, oh yeah, 1990. They didn't even lie and say copywritten from when CMB filed it. They put the date that they did it, even though it's already, and there's a date on it already. That's how egotistical these people are. They use their date. At least, at least fraud more science temple says, oh yeah, 1928, we got the Noble Jolly Incorporated. And the, at least they're using nine, they're using the right date in their cell home. These people said copywritten in 1994. That's madness. You play this guy, let me look for the certificate. Thing. And so people are either downloading the declarations or you're paying someone for it. All right. All of these, all of these declarations have clock of destiny and zodiac constitution in it. All of them do. All right. Let me tell you something, man. The clock of destiny. Okay. This is a Masonic lodge created by um, CM Bay. And if you are not a member of that lodge, you are not to be using Clock of Destiny or Zodiac Constitution, period. It's not for you. It's for their society, okay? Secret society, whatever you want to call it, it's a clandestine organization. And if you don't have anything to do with it, then you have no business using that stuff. But then, since so many people out here, and a lot of you especially who are doing it, winging it on your own, trying to figure it out, I'm not trying to condemn you. If you've done it, no one's condemning you. Don't, don't take, take this personal. personal. Don't, don't be emotional. emotional. We, we have, have to, to learn. learn. It's, it's a learning, learning process. process. If you're doing these um, proclamations and things, they say clock of destiny and zodiac constitution in it. That should let you right there know. I don't care who's promoting it. I don't care how prestigious you are. I don't even care if it's somebody that they're pushing something that's bogus. Okay. Yeah, don't let people give you give up your birthright to what to what to what was given to you. Copy of application, United States Copyright Office, AA209316, Charles Mosley Bay, Title of Work, Clock of Destiny, Citizenship, Moorish American, filed April 3rd, 1952.
United States Copyright Office, copy of application, AA222141. Copyright claimant, Charles Mosley Bay. Title of work, Clock of Destiny, Marsh Identification Card with the Zodiac Constitution. Filed September 1952. You hear something about some lodge or something like that? And I'm pretty sure it said Moorish American. Citizenship wasn't some lodge, whatever. Copy of application, AA77869. Copyright owner, Charles Mosley Bay. Title of book, Clock of Destiny. Filed, March 1948. Just like before, when he broad, broad brushed everybody, don't broad brush dirty morals. Don't say CMB founded some Masonic whatever. Don't say that, that he was bringing Masonry from that perspective, like Masonry is not our stuff. And that's not more science. Don't even dare try to disrespect the elder. And have people not look up his his magnificent work that he put out and filed in the Library of Congress so everybody has access to it. But they can't because of people like Nakim Bey. Say him. He knows he's dirty. It's not he doesn't know. You think they don't know that they're dirty? They've been dirty. 1994. Since 94. They've been slimy. Because why didn't they just say 52 or 48? Why Why would you say you're, you're 94? Right, CMB. This is what they don't want you to know. You tell me how... This is destructive to you. Seek light. Light means knowledge. Knowledge is power. It spells freedom. Freedom is everybody's job on a universal scale. For instance, if a card shark was cheating you in a game of cards, it would be unintelligent to resort to force against him. Your most intelligent act is to seek one who teaches the art of cheating. Have him teach you all the angles of card cheating. Here, you are well equipped with the necessary knowledge by which it would enable you to protect your money while engaging in a game of cards with card sharks. And as soon as they discover that you are wise to all of their tricks, the card sharks would automatically respect you as their equal thereafter. And as the result, the old game of cards between you and them will be played on the square minus violence or hatred or fear. Ignorance creates violence, brute force, and destruction. But wisdom, correct knowledge, and understanding creates unity, peace of mind, freedom, progress, and the pursuit of happiness. Freedom is everybody's job. The contents of this book will free you from the name Negro Slave. The following are the five symbols of the 12 signs of the zodiac, which represent the universal law and the constitution upon which civilization is founded. Why wouldn't you want some of that? You tell me. After you hear, Amor presents himself, whatever his name is, and he says that to you. You're not going to want to find out some more? You're not going to think to yourself, that, that, was, that was deep. CMB.
the highest law, clock of destiny. The highest law is a written constitution, proof of freedom. A written constitution comprises the fundamental laws which govern the birthrights of an existing nation and also the freedom and rights of the individual of that nation. There is not enough money in the world to pay for your written Moorish constitution. Would you rather have your Moorish nationality and Moorish constitution and be free? Or would you rather remain as a Negro property slave of the quote-unquote White People's Union State Society of North America, USA? Let us remember that the name such as Negro is definitely a slave label of the Union Sociologists of North America, USA. The very weapon which they coined to steal your Moorish constitution birthrights in 1776. This fact cannot be altered. You can put this fact to a test by presenting your written Moorish constitution to the Union States judges and lawmakers in their court, in their court, and demand them to produce their written constitution to defy your written Moorish constitution and confine yourself to the written Moorish constitution and your demand of them as long as the case is in session. Do not ever talk off the record of your Moorish constitution from the first article to the seventh. Otherwise, you will trap yourself and thus become the victim of them. So beware. In life, every Moorish American is well qualified to defend their rights in court by their own Moorish constitution the greatest protection law of self-defense. If a Moorish American employs a lawyer, they then have surrendered their supreme birthrights constitution to the lawyer, judge, and the jurors, and thus becomes their slave without the rights to defy them by CMB. You don't want, if you're telling me you don't want that, and, and he sold out, then F you too. You're going down with all these rest of dirty moors out here, lying on the elder, lying on him. The Moorish Nation, Great Seal National Association of Moorish Affairs. The Great Seal National Association of Moorish Affairs is an active association or collective citizen body of conscious Moorish nationals having in their possession valid and confirmed Moorish nationality and identification cards who act or convene as a political body in accord with Moorish constitutional law and customs to address local, national, and international affairs and issues concerning the living Moorish nation. What consular court you need when you have great seal already? What consular Moorish court you need when you have great seal already? What more science temple you need when you have great seal? Oh, no, don't, no, no, I'm going to back it up. Hold on, hold on. Remember, this is CMA talking. Great Seal National Association of Moorish Affairs have, at a minimum, the MSTA degree. MSTA in itself is a degree. In itself. In the Clock of Destiny, Moore Science Temple of America is a degree of knowledge in that institution of learning. You know, math is a degree that you get. A particular degree. A functional knowledge of the works of Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali, the divine national Moorish movement of the world, including all general laws, temple order, customs, books, literature, symbols, etc. Doesn't sound like Moore Science Temple of America owned anything relative to Nobu Juali in 1948 to 52 when CMB was around. Because he named everything. Everything that Nobu Juali presented must be known by people who are saying that they're great seal. Which would mean that at one time, a group of Moors said, it's time for us to get active and stop being passive. 
It's time now. It's time to seat these old Moors in the back and carry out the law. What law? The law that was laid out by Noble Juali. To follow your divine constitution. You're looking at divine constitution and bylaws. You know, that's why Zodiac Constitution has one to seven articles as well. So it's in harmony with what Noble Juali did. Because again, CM Bay is a third, 33rd, 360 degree Master Mason. PhD, LLD, Moorish, free Moorish Master Astrologer and Moorish Constitutional Lawgiver. Who ever, who has those credentials? Find me a Moor that, that has those credentials. Oh, nobody, right? Uh, the only person who comes to mind is the Prophet, maybe Haile Selassie. Why? Because they honored their foremothers and forefathers. They didn't sell out. They didn't throw each other under the bus. The foregoing status must be known by Great Seal National Association of Moorish Affairs, active Great Seal members must assure that all Moors are conscious of their national responsibilities. Active honors to all the Olodio Moors out there. Ashe Islam to all the Olodio Moors. Active Great Seal members must assure that all Moors are conscious of their national responsibilities. Just keep playing all your stuff. It's all yours. They're trying to get you to join the club. CM Bay wanted nothing to do with that, and his organization that is still up and running currently wants nothing to do with that. So, yeah, I shared this post because this is one of the administrators in the um, Clock of Destiny. And he was saying he just had Clock of Destiny, more Zodiac Constitution removed off of a search engine due to copyright infringement. Right. Why? Because people have it on their own websites. And if you have it on your website and he's able to. Additional certificate of registration of a claim to copyright. Now, why would he file this for anybody to go get it if it was just for this little group or whatever that he created? Are you nuts? These Moors weren't playing harbor the information like you Moors play today. They say all Moors must be conscious of their national responsibilities. What's your national responsibilities? Make some YouTube videos? Hell no. Like I said, we have a building. We have a place where we go to meet as Moors. Canaan Moors is not behind some screen. No, like we're Moors out here. We're not just Moors on this only, or when we're in the park by ourselves and then we put the camera on us and we're outside doing stuff. We know what it takes. Why? Because we were taught by the same by these same Moors. Who taught us to be active, not passive? Because what? Well, because they learned from the, from the same Moors that we're talking about, CM Bay. Noble Juali, Marcus Garvey, and uh, the Moors who were active. The Moors who were good. Even, even Afeni Shakur went to court with no lawyer and beat 50 charges or whatever like that. 
I'm playing some black stuff. The Great Seal member citizen membership requires the active knowledge of the Moorish constitution, living the Moorish life. Well, you gave, gave away you gave away one there. The Great Seal citizen membership requires the active knowledge of the Moorish constitution, living the Moorish life in brackets. The Zodiac Constitution is you. You knowing your sun, moon, ETC, that embodies your Constitution as a being on the Earth plane. Once that's in harmony, then you can use the power of the paper constitution. Because like I said, man's 33rd, 360 degree, like this is not speculative. Anybody thinking that this is speculative? Tripping. The Great Seal Citizen membership requires the active knowledge of the Moorish constitution. The divine constitution and bylaws of the Moorish Holy Temple of Science, Moorish Science Temple of America, founded by Sheikh Sharif Abdul Ali, Noble Juali. This constitution must be studied at law and spiritually. This is the divine science of government. The divine science of government, they don't want you to know that. They want you to think that this more, who's dirty, is running some clock of destiny. And because they, they're doing and charging people with infringement or whatever like that, they're credible. But we just showed you that the ink more is taking the mores who are talking about trust or whatever like to court and all that. to find it you know what i'm saying he can take action right so people are sharing these proclamations i've seen it on the 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 little consulate website you know i've seen it in several places right and so this is bogus for them to be doing that it's bogus they don't have the permission of the clock of destiny to be doing that right so see some of y'all didn't know that you didn't even know what the clock of destiny was you know you you may have I just saw I just saw saw you there our rush our rushes I mean Bay who nationalized me when you when you say who nationalized me like what do you mean what 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 context because before I joined the Morris Science Temple of America I declare my nationality of Washita under the guidance of Alim and Kadira Bay. But they didn't national nationalize me. I I had the concept that I was a Moor. I was just still in the studying stage. I don't to run out yet and start saying I'm a more. But 2010, when they pushed those cameras in my face, oh yeah, I was a more. Not playing, I'm not a more. You know, and you could say even that was really the declaration. Forget what somebody said or somebody gave me a card or somebody signed some paperwork and put a seal on it means that that made me a more. Ain't nobody making anybody a more. We're mores. Who brought me into consciousness that I'm a more? I can say Brother Aleem Elbe, Kadira Elbe. Um, after that, it was Dawid Ali El, Ken Yube, 
R Neo Bay. Um, Mentu Hotep Bay. Aki Bay. And after that was Raz Nature. Nature Bay, Raz Mariah Bay, Taj Tariq Bay. This is like the order. Hakeem Bay, Brother Fonteus, Denim L, maybe. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, around the time of Taj Street Bay, also Jabbar Gaines L was in there too. So those are all the people who were my go-tos when we were having issues, when we were going through whatever, more had something happen. That was my people to call in order to get some reference points so that I can go study. And then, and then those moors put me onto more. So it's not like it was just them, right? Those moors also put me onto moors. Who put me onto moors? Who put me onto moors? Who put me onto moors? And right, so I hope that answer. I hope that answered your question. That we're moors. Nobody makes anybody a moor. Nobody can't make someone a moor. We're moors. Who who? Put me on to knowledge about it and made me go study. Oh yeah, and throw a seer, a seer in there too. Can't forget the Duke. Right? And Obershango L. Oh yeah, of course, Anita L and you know the whole crew. Right, so, if your question's answered, or you got some rebuttal or something like that, you know, I'm looking at the chat right now, so you can make your comment or whatever. Who sealed your name correction? The temple sealed my name correction because we have a seal. Why would I wait five weeks or whatever sending this by some plane somewhere when we already have our own seal? And I got members over right over here. I got Moorish brothers and sisters here where I could tell them, hey, let me get your witness on this. Because I don't have to be, I don't have to be vizier. Cause I'm grand chic or whatever like that. Some uh, chairman could could be my vizier. Treasurer could be my vizier. This is not some club. This is birthrights. And we have a seal because we're a temple. So we have a, we have Moorish divine and national movement of the world seal. We don't use the Moorish science temple seal because that has the ink in it. So we already know that that's the fraud. So we use Moorish divine and national movement seal. That's how we seal all our stuff. No video or audio of Noble Juali, to our knowledge. We don't know anybody that has any that's ever heard anything or that's even spoken about there being something. Because people can't talk crazy and not be able to play the thing. You could say, we could play Garvey, we could play whoever else. We could play Haile Selassie, we could play whoever. And not non Juali, all right, it is, it's all good. It is what it is. Ain't nothing. Right. Well, uh, that's a good try, um, Arthrush. I mean, Bay, but um, we don't do followers over here. Everybody's of their own volition in that chat. So 
<laughs> that's your head that you're playing with. I could care less, to be honest with you, because you're the one in the chat, not me. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on live. <laughs> so you got to deal with them chat muftis. You're on your own. Don't be calling me now after you talk all the BS. I see you talking BS. Now you're calling me. Don't call me now. Don't call me about followers, nothing. I don't know any of them moors in there. Other than that, they're moors. I don't know them. They just might take your head. Just because. Talking crazy to the GS. And you really don't know. You don't really know who's who. You don't know what's up. You don't know how serious some people take this. Some people take this serious. Some people don't play around with their nationality and birthrights. Like these YouTube moors play around. So when CM be under the bus like he did something to somebody. You know. So, you know, it is what it is. But you're you're not calling you're not telling me nothing saying that the followers are dummies. You're talking to them and they're right there in the chat with you. So, you know, you'll do whatever you gotta deal with for calling those more dummies in there. Who they know better. And you should know better too if you're a more, but you know, clearly clearly you need the troll spirit. Clearly you need the troll spirit. But the bottle's empty right now, so you'll get you'll get away. You'll get away this once. You'll get away this once. It's all good. I know I know how you trolls do. <laughs> I know how you trolls do. I know how you do. It's all good. You know, do your do your troll thing. Do your troll thing. You got anything else or you're done? Oh, oh, I'm not ready. I'm the one that's alive right now, but I'm not ready. I, all right, all right, buddy. All right, guy. Yawns. Why don't you just put the, the, the sleeping emoji? Yawns. You know you didn't yawn just now. <laughs> Not yawning nothing. You're enjoying class. You've been here for two hours. What the hell are you talking about? You dumbass. You've been here for two hours? You talking crazy? Because we know you're one of the people in there. Come on now. We know you've been here. 60 people? We know you've been here. Stop this. Playing around. I've heard some of these things like seeing baby, but you don't really know. So it's real. And no, they're not cool with it. Look. Members of the Clock of Destiny are law-abiding citizens of the USA. All right? And I can show you something on that, you know, to back that up. But, look, many of you detected Dr. C.M. Bay, Morris Revised Constitution, Nationality Card, and Tax oh, Exemption oh, Card. You oh, Morris Revised? <laughs> the premier, the premier, Nikeem Bay. The premier Nakim Bay has revised the Moorish Constitution. Oh, and you have a tax exemption card? I thought you're non obligatory when it comes to taxes. Eh, eh Nakim Bay? I thought I thought you were obligated to taxes. That's very interesting there, Nakim Bay. It's very interesting. It's very interesting how you Moors. It's very interesting how you Moors are real quick to. There's a real, real quick to claim that you you did it. You didn't do it. He's lying. You didn't do it. Trust me, you didn't do it. They're playing around with you. Revised Constitution. What do you mean you're revising the Constitution? What the hell do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? They're re I really want to know what you mean by that.
Moore's Zodiac Constitution, Article 3, Taxes and Military Exemption for Moorish Americans. The Moors referred to as Negroes definitely can never become members and citizens of the Union States of the 48 states. Oh, so if you could never become members of the Union States of 48 states, why are they telling you that you, you're members of the U.S.? Hold on a second. I'm pretty sure he said members of U.S. and stuff like that. Right, so people are sharing these proclamations. I've seen it on the 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 little concept. Most of the paperwork, because you do have some innovation. You have people; they have their own declarations, you know, and your declaration of nationality. Because people aren't trying to go within the society that the Prophet Noble Drew Ali established for us, so they're trying to create their own thing. And so people are either downloading the declarations or you're paying someone for it. All right. All of these, all of these declarations have clock of destiny and zodiac constitution in it. Because that's the law for Moors. Why wouldn't your proclamations make reference to Great Seal or Zodiac Constitution if that's not the law and these documents are supposed to be lawful? If it's lawful documents, it better come from some governing body of law. De jour law. The science that treats the positive law. Something better be in harmony. If it's not, you're a fraud. Take your fez off and go back to being a Negro. All of them do. All right? Let me tell you something, man. The Clock of Destiny, okay, this is a Masonic Lodge created by um, C.M. Bay. Lying. And if you are not a member of that lodge, you Lying. are not to be using Clock of Destiny or Zodiac Constitution. Lion. The lodge concept was created by Nakim Bay, 1994. It's on their website. Stop lying on C.M. Bay. Private organization, 1994. That means... Lodge. That's why they pull the red tie BS. Because they're playing Lodge games. They wanted their clock of destiny out here in Canaan land and all that. What you mean? Where were you when we were dealing with Nakim Bay trying to sell us out? Where were you at? You weren't talking anything. Where were you at? You've been around this since 1994, you claim. Where are you at? How come you weren't talking against this back then? Now that you can get views, you're talking against something. Say who it is. Name's right there. Nakim Bay. He's running a fraud. Don't tie that to CM Bay. Disrespecting the elder. Institution. Period. It's not for you. It's for their society. Okay? Secret society, whatever you want to call it. It's a clandestine organization. And if you don't have anything to do with it, then you have no business using that stuff. But then, since so many people out here, and a lot of you especially who are doing it, winging it on your own, trying to figure it out, I'm not trying to condemn you. If you've done it, no one's condemning you. Don't take this personal. Don't be emotional. We have to learn. It's a learning process. If you're doing these um, proclamations and things, they say clock of destiny and zodiac constitution in it. That should let you right there know. I don't care who's promoting it. I don't care how prestigious you are. I don't even care if it's somebody that they're pushing something that's bogus. Okay? CM Bay wanted nothing to do with that. And his organization that is still up and running currently wants nothing to do with that. So, yeah, I shared this post because this is one of the administrators in the um, Clock of Destiny. And he was saying he just had Clock of Destiny, more Zodiac Constitution removed off of a search engine due to copyright infringement, right? Why? Because people have it on their own websites. And if you have it on your website and he's able to find it, you know what I'm saying? He can take action. Right, so people are sharing these proclamations. I've seen it on the 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 little 
consulate website, you know, I've seen it in several places, right? And so this is bogus for them to be doing that. It's bogus. They don't have the permission of the clock at desk. What permission for your birthday? You need permission to blink? You need permission to blink. Oh my gosh. If you blink, Clock of Destiny is going to take your eyes off. Because you shouldn't be blinking until Clock of Destiny says blink. This is the people's mentality of their birthright. You don't got permission to use the great seal, but you walk around with a one dollar note in your in your pocket all day with a great seal on it that you give that away with no permission or whatever. But these dirty moors start talking about their great seal and you can't do that. Now you now you punks are running from using the great seal, but you have it in your pocket right now. Don't let me cuss bad words at you. Talking stupid. Need to be doing that. Right. So see, some of y'all didn't know that you didn't even know what the clock of destiny was. You know, you you may have heard some of these things like seeing baby, but you don't really know. So it's real. And no, they're not cool with it. Look, members of the clock of destiny are law abiding citizens. Islam, Chief Cherokee, tell these tell these aboriginal indigenous whoever is that they're Moors. Please beg you. We beg you. To please do like our Hebrew brothers and tell these Hebrews that they're Moors. And make some videos since you're a Cherokee chief, but you got El Bay, and let these people know that we're Moors. And tell them stop playing. Please. Because they're not we, we can't get through to them. We're trying to bring them on board so that we can, you know what I mean, start being like our ancient foremothers and forefathers, but we have this dead weight call all these people calling themselves all this other stuff instead of just being Moors. You're Cherokee. Well, you know that you're a Moor. So what's the what, what is really the problem here? What is really the issue? What is the issue? Right? And you're a lone wolf too, and you got Elbe. Oh, please, please talk to these Lenape, whoever's turtle, turtle snapping, whatever people. You let them know that we're Moors all day. Islam to you, Moor. Citizens <laughs> of the USA. All right. And I can show you something on that, you know, to back that up. But look, many of you detected Dr. C. M. Bay, Morris Revised Constitution, Nationality Card, and Tax Exemption Card. You dirty Moors need to stop your criminal acts. You oh, hold on a second. Stop the criminal acts. Hold on a second. Look, Article 3 Taxes and Military Exemption. Taxes and Military Exemption for Moorish Americans, the Bays, and Ls. The Moors referred to as Negroes definitely can never become members and citizens of the Union States of the 48 States. Therefore, they cannot be forced or drafted into the Union, USA, Army, or military service to fight for the Magna Carta Code of White Supremacy against themselves. The lawmakers of the 48 States Union Order cannot force the Moors, the Bays and Els to pay taxes because taxation without representation is a supreme violation of the Moors Zodiac Constitution birthrights of Islam. When the Union lawmakers denounce their immoral Magna Carta Code and resort to the Moors Zodiac Constitution, then the Moors are compelled to pay taxes because everyone of the nation will be equally represented by it. There is no room in the science of masonry, the zodiac, for mystic god, religious worship, race, color, ignorance, war, crime, slavery, and human injustice. That's what CMB is about. And there's no such thing as a tax exemption card for the clock of destiny. That's a lie. That's a, that's a, a money grab. It's really a fiat grab because there's no such thing as an exemption 
card. Why would you need an exemption card if AA22141 filed in the Library of Congress already has a clock of destiny identification card with the Zodiac Constitution and according to Article 3 cannot force Morris to pay taxes. Didn't say Morris is exempt. The real dirty Morris are these people calling people dirty Morris. Right? These people who started the forgery and the imposters trying to destroy the movement are now standing up after they hid everything and took everything out of Library of Congress, put it in different places and and changed up things and, and stopped saying certain things and stopped wearing certain things and treating this thing like a game, now they're standing up and saying, oh yeah, what we, we got the revised constitution because people are dumbasses. We're going to say revised and they won't even pay attention to the fact that we just put in writing that we revised the constitution without them, which makes that a fraud. Which makes that a fraud. It's all up front. And for uh, Arushas. So Arushas, if you have an issue with Aleem El Bay and birth certificate authentication, you should probably go talk to him about that. He has his own web page, he has a YouTube page, he goes live all the time. Why don't you go in his chat and ask him about, because I already did lectures and stuff with him. So it's not he's not selling me no authentication or whatever if he sold you that. You know what I mean? Like uh, maybe you're a dumbass. Maybe you, you maybe you got played because you're a dumbass. Because why would you even buy a package to authenticate something? Because I'm sticking by that's bogus. I don't care who's saying they did it or they could do it or you could come to us to do it or whatever. Hey, that's you know, to each his own. They could teach whatever they want to teach. But I know for a fact they never sold that stuff to me. They never it wasn't even it wasn't even up for debate or question. Hey, would you like to authenticate the birth certificate? You should get the birth certificate. So, oh no, I just got washed out paperwork, washed out nationality card, and that's that. I don't know what you I don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. You could be lying on the more right now. I don't know. You could be lying. Because because he never brought no authenticate anything to me, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever, ever. So I don't know what you're talking about. So no, because I see you putting stuff in the chat because you know people are going to read the chat and then I didn't say nothing, so that means acquiescence and all that BS. Good try. No, I never said... Aleem is bogus. Nowhere did I say he's bogus. Where did you get that from that I said Aleem Bay is bogus? Like, I really want to know. Where did you get that from? Why would you say in the chat, so am I saying that Aleem Bay is bogus? Where do you get that from? No, I'm not saying Aleem Bay is bogus. So I'm asking you where you get that from. Like, where, where do you get the idea that I said Aleem Bay is bogus when... We have a Skype with Aleem Bay on Sunday. So I'm trying to figure out where you're going because you're not matching up with the reality that I'm living. The reality that I'm living is that we have a Skype class with Aleem Bay on Sunday because that's that's the more. That ain't some nigger to us. That's the more right there. He was some he was he was when 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 Moors and black scholars were telling us 
three grand and five grand and seven grand to do a lecture, he took 600. Remember, that was 2,000, so don't try no 600 stuff right now. But it was 600. That was back then. 2006. How much, how much whoever charged you guys for a lecture? What did that say? Two grand? Oh, okay. Oh. No, I don't think he's bogus at all. He dealt with us properly. So again, I don't know what you're talking about. About me thinking he's bogus. Why would you say that? Why would you think I think Alim Bey is bogus? Arashas Amin Bey? I'm chilling right now. I got time, so whatever. It's on you right now. Because I'm open. I can do this all night. I don't got nothing to do. So I'm just waiting to see where you're going with your madness that you're coming in our chat talking crazy. Because I already told you that these more are going to take your head or whatever. Right? You don't, you want to be on front street, so let's let's go. Since you're on front street and you want to be trolling, let's go. What's your question, troll? Put it out there. Let's go. Since I'm not ready and you're yawning. Since you're not ready and yawning. Hey, it's Brother Jeremy. It's a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I brought in the Jeep too. What the hell? What's going on? Party? <laughs> Party? I didn't, I didn't look at the chat for so long. What the hell's going on in there? Where did these words come from? Who else is hiding up in here? Who else is hiding? Artrus, what are you saying, man? Is it Artrus? I can't remember. Your name is hard to pronounce and shit. Arushus, sorry, not Artrus. Arushus, Arushus Amin Bey. Answer the question. Are you saying Alim is bogus? No, I am not saying Alim is bogus. My question is where are you getting this from that I say Alim is bogus? I answered the question. Answer the question. No. N-O. I do not think Alim Bey is bogus because he's one of the first people to put me on to more science. When these people were telling me five grand for a lecture, he took 600. So I'm going to ride with him before I ride with any of these clowns. My question's answered. I don't know how fast your chat is moving or how slow the video is, but... This thing is slow. Anybody who has questions, bring it up. Have you ever done an authentication of the birth certificate? Never. The only thing we would authenticate is documents. So for example, we would have a writ that we're sending to whoever. We would take the writ, get that authenticated, and then send the writ out. Because now they can't argue with the writ because their own people verified that, hey, these guys have a seal on here from one of our lawyers, so you're going to have to go with whatever they say in this paper. We authenticated our, um, we authenticated our paperwork, right? When we did, um, When we used to do Declaration of Nationality paperwork, um, Oath of Allegiance to the Moorish Nation, um, renouncing the corporate citizenship, you know, maybe about five, five or six different writs all in one little package get that authenticated and then send that out to everybody same thing that people are doing with their judicial proclamations 
But again, that, that was then. There was no need to authenticate birth certificate because we know that from our teachings, that's not us. We come from the we come from the generation of go on YouTube and look up um, dangers of the UCC with Taj Tariq Bay. It's about four parts or six parts or something like that. Go listen to that. We come from that generation where stuff was on audio. That's not a YouTube video. That's an audio that was on a CD. That's an audio. That's nothing that there's there's no video, DVD, or whatever of that. That's an audio. That's how somebody had a recorder and they were recording the conversation. It wasn't a class, it wasn't a, it was it was a conversation. More is just chilling and somebody recorded it. And this was the conversation. Because somebody asked a question about UCC. That wasn't a class. Get this in your damn mind. That that wasn't a class that they were at. Those were just Moors just chilling somewhere. And somebody just asked a question about UCC and Taj was there. And then this was the answer that they got. So don't get caught up in the stuff that you see on here and thinking that, oh yeah, that was a class and Moors were there. Oh, I wish I was at that class. No, that's the same stuff that Miz was talking about last night too. That when we went to the Moors spot, that you... you it's just more is there building like you, any corner you go in you're gonna have some type of insane conversation that you never ever thought that you'd even hear people be talking about so again Alim Bay Kadira Bay they are not bogus we never did any type of authenticating of any type of birth certificate. I never did that. I know Moors who in 2011, 2012, 2013, they're trying to tell me about PPSA because they heard some Europeans talking about that. I'm like, no, that's not the way to go. Nah, well, that's what we're gonna do. And they took off, went and did their PPSA BS. Same thing with the UCC people, right? Marrakesh Society. 2010 Colin yes yeah, send us the birth certificate so we could do the UCC one so you could get the child back from the whatever that we would have went and did some UCC one and then this sister would have still sold out even though we bent over backwards for her hiding her while they were looking for her on the news and all that stuff because that was our sister and it was some BS. And what she do? Throw everybody under the bus. Got people deported, all types of madness. Just because. So trust me, we know about the setup. We know about the setup. We know how real the sellout is. We know how real the sellout is. So when I say, you know, you got time, you got time, so put your stuff in the chat. Stop talking BS, repeating stuff. Trust me, you're behind. You're way behind. We never... Like I'm saying, we've been here since 2008. Trust me, I know Moors have went the UCC route. I know Moors have went the PPSA route. Me, I never went that route. I don't teach go that route. There's 2,000 classes that I got on, on YouTube. You can go check all of them and see if I ever talked about promoting any UCC or PPSA filing of anything. Never, ever, ever, ever. Because I don't have to go back and check whatever because I already know where my foundation is I know what we teach and what we don't teach right you want to hear me say what we don't do certificate authentication we don't do that we look up authenticate to know what that means and why would I let a European do that right 
course. I mean, who doesn't pay taxes? Everybody's paying something to these to these beasts right now. Everybody's paying something to this colonists. Ain't nobody tax exempt like that. Maybe tax exempt on certain stuff. Certain stuff you're paying. You buy something online, you're paying taxes off the off the top. It's just what it is. You don't want to pay that tax? Don't worry about them and their online BS. Stop buying stuff online. That, that way you don't have to pay tax online. Real simple. Real simple. Right? And again, right? Yeah, so his name is Sharif. All right, so his name's Sharif, but he's using Sheriff Devon Bell to try to talk some sovereign citizen BS and try to throw Moors in on that. The Moors are following the European who started sovereign citizen whatever in the 60s. Well, you're following a European right here. And it's crazy that he's a sheriff and your name is Sharif. Keep letting these people play with you. Where Ashuras go? Arushas, where you at? Because you're quiet over there. Not seeing, not seeing any BS from you. <clears throat> not seeing anything there. Where you go to? Hiding? Don't hide now. You want to know why there exists more shade ups? It is to protect the nation from forgery and imposters trying to destroy the movement from within and on the outside. All I need to do is send in the copyright documents from Call of Clock of Destiny, and the government is going to enforce the law. Right? right. And so the reason I'm sharing this because this information needs to be out there, you know? Like this brother, obviously, and the other brothers who are legit members of the Clock of Destiny do not approve of this. They're not. Are you understanding what's going on? This guy is saying the sellout is the legit clock of destiny. I'm telling you personally, I spoke with Nakeem Bay. He's one of the sellouts of this. What do you mean? I mean he's legit. Everybody knows Nakeem Bay is a seller. Everybody knows. Just like everybody knows certain people in the conscious community beat their baby mom. Like, beat her. Slap her in the face and shit. And they still play They still play games. I'm not in conscious community. But, trust me. They got dirt. They got dirt. What question, Arushas? Like, you're not asking no question. You just keep saying in the chat, I don't run. I'm waiting for y'all to answer the question. What question? There's a grand sheik right here. What question? Spit it out, nigga. Answer again? That's what I'm saying, Conway. Like, again? How much answers do you want? What more do you want? So you can't ask about a lima again because I answered that. You can't answer about birth certificates because I answered that. <coughs> so, so what, what are you what are you asking? <coughs> and don't remember, Arushas, you're the one looking like a dumbass because I got time. I'm not doing nothing right now. So you can play games all you want about somebody's deflecting something. I'm on the chat right now looking at you type. What are you talking about? <coughs> Idris? See? And there you go. With the Zalim Bogus. Nigga. 
Chat Muftis. <laughs> Idris. You see, without having a foundation, people get lost and people get people get taken. People get taken. Right? Before they were Marrakush, they were Aboriginal law firm. When they were Aboriginal law firm, they were package sellers because they were pretending to be a law firm when they are not lawyers, but they were Moors. They were playing people. And they started selling packages. That was some of the first package sellers, actually. And they started selling packages and stuff like that. And then they changed their thing to, you know, because Mar Marrakesh was around, but it wasn't really being used yet, you know, because they had, you know, you saw Moors in court and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So when they were Aboriginal law firm, they were doing the package thing and, uh, you know, quote unquote, buy this to be a more type of type of perspective. Um, now they're saying that they're Marrakush. You know, and they've been saying that for a little while, but I know that they're Aboriginal law firm. So they might be able to play dumb people who weren't around in 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or whatever, to know the, 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 inner, the inner stuff that was going on. But yeah, people, people playing. People are playing. Yeah, please let Aleem know that I called him bogus. And then tell him that I'll talk to him on Sunday when we do the Skype with him. Since, since I think he's bogus. Yeah, let, let him know as soon as possible too. Let him know. Make sure you run. Run, go tell him. Run, run, go tell him. Make sure you run, go tell him. Any other questions? Send them out right now. Stop playing. 58 people in there. I know at least 30 of y'all are just, just there. Peeping. You just got the eyes. The eyes emoji. Just looking. See what you're going to learn. So put out a question there. You can't be anonymous, unfortunately, but, you know, send it out. And Arushas, don't forget, go um, go let Aleem know. Yeah, make sure you tell him watch this video too. Let him know, watch this video. Please tell him to watch this. Matter of fact, you just push the live and then tell him to come in the chat right now. Like, you think, you think that this is some... Some follow fashion copycat freaking thing. We're Moors. Like, I don't care what Moors do with their life. That's their life. Well, I know they deal with me properly. Like, whatever. Whatever. Like, there's nothing to deflect. I know Aleem personally. Like, I could call him on the phone. What the hell you mean? Deflecting some. Like, I know Aleem. He's not some stranger. He's not some Moor I met yesterday. 2004, 2005, we've been riding with Aleem. What do you mean? Like, we brought him here to do lectures. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Now, you guys could play your little game, but, you know what I mean? Like, I'm straightforward with everybody. You know, you know, dark, dark stuff and all that stupid stuff. If somebody said something, he said, she said BS with me. Because, you know what I mean? Like, Because you're a dumbass that bought a package and got played, don't get mad at me. Like, what's that have to do with me? Do I have to acknowledge Noble Juali as the prophet to be in the Moorish movement? No, not to be in the Moorish movement. I mean, you could you could recognize him as a good man. Like, you don't have to recognize him as no prophet. But when the prophecies manifest, you can't be in denial after. You can't say that didn't, oh, well, that doesn't count or whatever, you know. Just know that you're, you're going to be denying, you're going to be denying whoever you call the creator. Maybe call it clear, but you don't have to acknowledge Nobu Juali as the prophet. You have to acknowledge Nobu Juali, though. 
You have to recognize his teachings. You have to acknowledge that. You don't have to acknowledge the prophethood. You don't care less. The priesthood is dead. We don't care about priests. This has nothing to do with priests. The prophet is a priest. But his teachings, his teachings last forever. His teachings still here, even though his body's not. So, you know, we would say just give honors to the prophet Nobu Juali and you know, whether you call him prophet or not, that's up to you. We don't really, I mean, that's that's up to you, you know. Not really. What was that? He said, anyone who teach authentication is bogus. Yeah, because why would you authenticate the birth certificate? It doesn't even make sense. But if people want to do it, hey, go do go do it. I mean, what, what's that got to do with me? Why are you mad at me because they went and authenticated the birth certificate? Why don't you go deal with them? What's that have to do with me that they did that? Like, why should I care? To me, it's wrong because it doesn't make sense because I'm not the birth certificate. So why am I going to authenticate something that I know is a fraud? Why would I give legitimacy to a fraud? That's my mindset. That's my mindset. Based on my studying. So I'm not authenticating any birth certificate. Because that's some BS. Why would I... If I'm saying... If I'm saying that... I hate fitted hats... I hate fitted hats. I can't stand fitted hats. Why are you asking me about which teams I hate and why don't I like teams? I'm not talking about no goddamn teams. I'm not talking about Aleem. I'm talking about this idea of authenticate the birth certificate. That is bogus. That is BS. If people want to do that, that's up to them. That has nothing to do with me. I could care less who does it. Taj might eat celery. Right? Well, if I don't eat celery, that means I'm not going to talk to him because I don't eat celery. So, oh, no, he eats celery, so I can't talk to him or whatever. You're, you're, you're talking shit. What are you talking about? Why do I have to do the use? Why do I have to jump off a bridge to know I'm going to break my neck? Why, why do I have to jump off a bridge for it? Why? Oh, oh! I have to. Oh, I have to go through it in order to find out that it's a fraud. Stop talking shit. You're talking shit. What the hell are you talking about? That's why I told you, troll. I have time. Like, I need proof that I can't fly. Show, prove it that you can't fly. Why? Why do I have to prove it? No, you have to prove that you can't. Why do I have to prove that I can't fly? Why? I have to prove that I, I don't want to do UCC because I didn't do it. So I can't talk about it. FOH, what are you talking about? Tripping. Tripping. Now you go talk that BS to Aleem in his chat. What are you even doing over here? I already told you, me and Aleem are good. We got a Skype on Sunday. Are you a dumbass? Why would why would why would he why would he be bogus? Because he did a UCC one? He's bogus? Like, I don't eat meat. So because somebody eats meat, oh, they're, oh yeah, they're, they're evil. They're a meat eater, so they're evil. I could only talk to vegetarians only. 
Only vegans. I can't talk to people who are... You're a dumbass. That's what you are. Anybody else out there? 52 of y'all there. I know at least five of y'all have a question. Because these chat mortars, they study. They don't got questions. Psych. Shit. Dang, freaking. We're slow. You're the one that has a problem and still here. But you're over here with the slow people. We're slow, but you're over here with us. Complaining about us being slow. Why don't you just go somewhere else then? Make your life easy. You know, just make your life easy. Just go somewhere else. You know, you don't want to go anywhere else? Just gonna just gonna be in the chat talking crazy. Not cool with it. Right? And so it does like I said, it doesn't matter how long you've been out here, how long you've been teaching this stuff, how you know many lectures or whatever you do, it doesn't matter. If you're pushing this, you're pushing something bogus. If you have this on your websites for people to download, it's bogus. If you're selling this to people, you're extremely bogus because people can download it for free. And it's not even legit. But people can download it for free, so why? But there are people selling this stuff, you know, selling paperwork. If you're buying paperwork, if you're thinking about buying paperwork, you're wasting your time and money. That's why this thing is called a scam alert, right? And these are other members just like shut those. Are you alerting somebody in the, hold on a second. So you're alerting somebody. Okay. When there's an alert, they're going to tell you the name of whatever. Whether it's somebody kidnapped, you know, we're looking for a red car with a whatever, a license plate number, whatever. <coughs> Please, more. Please, more. What you said? All right. Where about you at? No, where about you at? All right, you're on 401? Yeah. All right, yeah, just get off morning side. Okay. Morning side and then south on morning side. All right. And um, yeah, when you get off the highway, just call me. I'll give you directions. I'll meet you downstairs. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. All right, yo. Peace. All right. Those dirty moors down. Indeed, people printing it up and presenting that version in court, and that is not to be tolerated. If you want a real copy, register yourself with Clock of Destiny, learn your culture, and your merit will bestow you with a true. Now, what good capital capital letters L is telling you about register yourself with Clock of Destiny? You taking them serious? For real. Capital all caps L is telling you about. <laughs> Shut these dirty wars down. These are the ones. These are the dirty wars right here. These ones lying to you about CMB would re register this and that and copyright 1994. And then this guy is following the sellout guys, just like up here when he started. And he wasn't even showing the guy's mugshot, so you can go check to know who this guy is that. That, that that's running a fraud I'm not even telling you who's running a fraud just making you run a fraud just making you run a fraud this time to all the moors my ride's on the way so don't be listening to these clowns trust me CMB is where it's at Studying law, it's where it's at.
Don't fall for anything that these people are playing with you, that you're not supposed to be about standing up for your rights and whatever like that. That's not renegade and, and anti-government and all that. What's anti-government is what these religious mores are doing. These temple mores who just want to keep you locked up in the temple. Trust me, Ken Yu Bay and Arneel Bay and Dawid L and all these mores that we came up under, trust me, they already left that in in 2000s because it was a fraud because people are playing games with the birthright, and they almost took over Chicago. And then they sent in their infiltration, you know, they sent in their infiltration, disbanded those moors, and then now Chicago went back to the sleepy moors, and now everybody over there sleep now. When they were active, had court shut down and all that type of stuff in 08. When we went there in 08, they had the five-car fleet Morris tags, everybody one car behind each other, and they're going, going through red lights and everything. No stops, no issues. Five-car fleet. That's how they traveled everywhere. That's how it was with those Morris that brought us in. So that's why we say, you Morris talking whatever you're talking right now? Pfft, not taking y'all serious. Y'all playing. Islam to all the Morris. Happy Holy Day. You know that we love you all. And we want to make sure that Stay on your studies. Do not let anybody be your priest. Go study. Study, study. Show yourself approved by building with other Moors who study and then, you know, doing your little knife fighting, stuff like that. And trust me, you get with the right Moors and you get the stuff, you know, you might get some cuts and learn something. Because without a force, a soldier never knows his strength. Islam to all the Moors worldwide. It was a good holy day. Peace and love.